you'll be there. Do you have your trophies on display? Oh, okay, that's good. actually, I, okay, I, good. I, I, there's a coincidence. I, I was moving stuff around. I forgot to move it. Oh, you forgot to move it. Yeah, everything on the brown. Yeah, I remember. I have great coffee. You know what? You brought up the coffee, so I want the coffee. It's going to be cold. I don't even, why the f Bleep that. I'm remembering actually almost exactly a year ago when you were inside because we were talking about floor ice. Yes. That's a nice sweater. Thank you. You dropped some ice cubes. Yeah. Are I they am. indoor ice cubes? Oh! I'm sorry. Do you drink floor ice? Do I drink floor ice? Yeah. No, I don't. I don't fuck with floor ice. I'm going to give you, uh, once again, not floor ice. Okay. But you know I'm cool with floor ice. Hold on, let me just rub it. Rub it real good. I'm not really gonna put this in my mouth because I just did a whole bit where I actually rubbed it on the ground. Well, that's floor ice. You can throw it. <laughs> I gotta focus you. Can you look at the camera? <laughs> I know, every fucking time. Do you know I don't usually drink coffee? And when I do, I get like. You prefer those Tweaked IVs? out of my mind. I like start twitching. Oh, well then let's take it easy because that is, that is strong. Yeah, isn't it, isn't it incredible? Okay. Wait, why is this, is this the smallest she'll go? My head is so dainty. I have such a dainty head. No, it's on zero. Okay. All right. Get this over with. Oh. Scoot doo. So good to see you too. Yeah. Blubbery blue. Scoop dee. Oh yeah. Is this? Is this a muffin? Um, you're always talking about vaginas when you come here. Uh, it's actually here's a plug. He, you know, sh shout out to the Spoonie. We'll put his Instagram handle up here. He's a guy, nice guy. He talks about his pillow all the time. He sent me a few. So what it's meant for is you put your arm in it and you could like spoon with somebody and they could rest on your arm. Oh, like a dick. Yeah. I also think oh. that you could probably put it on one of your legs so you have like a pillow between your legs if you sleep on the side. That's that's really smart. Yeah. You know, when I was pregnant, I had a pill. I had pillows all around me and the one in, in between my legs just kept moving. Sorry, this needs to be closer. And this could have helped. Yeah. I always say, if you're pregnant, get a spoonie. Get a spoonie. Send me $1,000 or I'm editing this out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Um, gold, gold. Uh, that's worse. Oh, no, that's good. I have Do you want to switch? Issues. Do you want to sit here? I can sit in your chair. I've never done that, but you want to try yeah. it? Yeah. You want to try it? Yeah, I do. Are you cool with it? Or are you going to be like germs and stuff? Whatever. Okay. Uh, uh, brown blanket only. Oh, I know. It's so good to see you. I, I'm so excited for you to be with your family. <laughs> Is that me? I'm the nicest. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Do I sleep on this mattress? Very well. And yes, I do. Visit helixsleep.com slash Tyso because with Helix, b -b 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 better sleep starts now. It's also worth noting, I truly do use this mattress and I really recommend it. It's a fantastic mattress. Do I say I'm the nicest? Hold on. This is me. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> what are those cards you magic the gathering? Yeah. Like I got all the cards and stuff and uh, yeah, these are my trophies because I'm so fucking good at basketball. Uh, yeah, they asked me not to be in the league because I was so good. Uh, and, uh, yeah, these are all my toys. You know, I did a short, the sixth league, short series. It's good. It was on a sitcom. I'm Rick. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, I need to change. I need to be more like you. I need to be more like... Yeah, you know, things are good. I have 12 houses. Oh. Um, <laughs> Excuse me, just because I made smart real estate decisions doesn't mean you should come at me, sir. Oh, am I you? I'm you. Gulp, 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 gulp. This is a New Orleans from Blue Bottle. You got to ask Why for it. Why are you doing a bad New York? 
It's a New Orleans from Blue it's Bottle. It's a New Orleans from Blue Bottle. You got to ask for it. It's not on the menu. It's on the menu. Is it? Just you do you, I'll do me. Is it really on the menu? Oh, yeah. Well, you said it like it was like on a hidden menu. No, but usually people know what they want and they get what they're used to. And I don't just mean that with coffee. I mean that in life. People are uncomfortable with change. Listen, I've been there. That's why I'm deciding to switch chairs. Is this weird for you? No, it's fine. I feel like you like things the way you like things. Well, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people do. Yeah. That's why know that when you're going into a coffee place and you like the thing you like, ask if they have a New Orleans. My friend Kate, she has this philosophy. Oh, wow. Sorry. When she goes to restaurants, she always orders something she's never seen before or something she can't make at home. Isn't that what you're supposed to do when you get married? You're supposed to uh, eat something you've never seen before, something you can't make at home, something borrowed. Yeah. I'm Sona. <laughs> Is that what I do? I just say no, I'm no. Sona? No, I was pretending that like if I say anything that mess- it fails, oh. I'm like, I'm Sona. <laughs> that was Sona. <laughs> that stupid shit that was just said is Sona. That wasn't stupid. I'm just like adding on to it. This is your fourth appearance, but it's your third January in a row. Is it? Mm-hmm. So ring in the new year with me. May all acquaintance be forgot. And oh, it was good up until the mic kiss. Don't let it out. Why did you feel like you needed to kiss the mic? Because on New Year's, it's a New Year's. You kiss on New Year's when the ball drops. Yeah, but you kiss a person. It's improv, bitch. <laughs> Birch. It's improv, bitch. <laughs> Dude, your voice is really nice. Thank you. That's you're definitely not me. My voice is horrible. Let me hear something. <clears throat> uh, <sighs> now you got me on the spot, oh. and I need to sing. For a really long time, I was uh, trying to get the theme to "Perfect Strangers" right. I don't remember how Standing that goes. tall on the wings of my dreams, mm. and then fall. And I think it says it again. On the wings of my dreams. Yeah. That was me kind of trying. Yeah, that wasn't good. <laughs> no, it wasn't. That's what I'm saying. It's not good. I'm a very bad singer. Um, What's that song that goes like, uh, I was singing it the other day and I was in the pocket. Um, I was in the pocket? Yeah, the girlfriend died. The girlfriend yeah, died? It's like, it's like, oh, where, oh, where can my baby be? The Lord took her away from me. Well, I was throw, working that the was, twang. That was, I was weird. I got a little confident with that the twang. That wasn't good, I tried though. to get out the twang. Okay. <clears throat> oh, where, oh, where, oh, where can my baby be? The Lord took her away from me. She's gone to heaven, so I got to be good. So I could see my baby when I leave it. Well, I got to be careful because I have relatively perfect pitch. I don't want YouTube to flag that and think it's the real performer. So we might have to. Do you really have? You can say that and I'd be like, oh, good for you. Yeah. But you do you really think that you have that? I think I could. Do you know? Yeah, do you, can good. you hear pitch? Not I, Relative perfect pitch is like I need a starting off point. Oh, I don't even know what pitch is. Yeah, we know. On the wings of my dreams. <laughs> I think they say it again. The eagle landed. (laughs) (laughs) Also, you asked me what to sing, and all I could think of was the perfect strangers. Yeah, because it's something you were working on recently. (laughs) Not even recently. Maybe two years ago, I was trying to get that right. And Tack, my husband is like he sings. He's a he's he he's a musician. He knows how to play guitar. He sings, and he would hear me doing it. He'd be like, "It's just." It's just not right. Like he didn't even know where to start to try to help me. You know, he mm. was, God bless him, but it was Did he sneeze? such a lost cause. I'm sorry? He sneezed? God bless him? Yeah. Because I said, that? God bless him. When else do you do that if they're not sneezing? Because it's like, let this supreme being force Who bless I think him. we could both agree if is out there and it's a woman, right? 
I mean, I think so. <clears throat> She's a multitasker, right? So, yeah. clearly a woman. I think it's so great. I think it's so great that like gulp, 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 at least gulp, younger gulp, generations gulp, like us we're young. How old are you? I'm 22. What are you? You're in your you're 20. You're 22? Mm-hmm. How old are you? So I met you when you were like 12? Yeah. No, even earlier than that. <sighs> Probably. I mean, we met when Brett was working on the show, that was 14 years ago we met. Yeah, I think I was I was just I was I was almost nine. I you remember. were almost yeah. nine when, I you, remember, when we met. I remember you made that joke when you said how old are you? And you thought I was saying no to you. Like you're like, I wouldn't tell you. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh like yeah, nine. you're twenty two. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah, and I'm I'm twenty eight. You look great. Shut the fuck up. Bleep that. Uh <laughs> I just turned 40. Happy birthday. Thank you. In October. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sona. Happy birthday to you. That's nice. If I sang, if I could sing, I would hand do the hand things, oh, yeah. the Mariah hands a lot. Mm-hmm. How come you don't do it? I was holding a coffee. And I tend to get uh, a little more sexual when I use my hands. Like you you mind jerking off? No, no. I just do it. Happy birthday to you. Beep, boop, beep, boop. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. <laughs> and then I go, I, sometimes even my lyrics, I, I often, when I get, I, I sometimes accidentally will go. Like if I'm in the bedroom having sex and I'm singing happy birthday to her or him while we're having sex, I'll uh-huh. usually not say their name and I'll say, happy birthday, Mr. President. Yeah. Happy birthday. Okay. You know what I'm so doing? So if a girl. That's in their belly button. Oh, it's, oh I thought it was in their vagina. No, no, no. Or no. if it was a guy in their butthole? No, you don't uh, uh, blur this. Um, but still, let him see. Let him see. <laughs> Make the blur. Put it at a ten. <laughs> Do a Gaussian blur at ten for this, <laughs> and you don't have to track it. I'll keep it here. Um, generally, if you want to lift your fingers toward the woman's belly button and pe- pelvic bone, as opposed to down towards their butt. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you were to go like this, know. it would be going the wrong way. Yeah. Now there is such a thing as an A spot, but. Uh, did you read about this, or did you learn about this? Uh, all of it. I read books. I watch videos. I ask questions. Okay. So you're a communicative lover. That's nice. Yeah. I think we've talked about something like this once. But when I, when the first time I'm with a woman, I'll say to her, when once it's, we're ready to, you know, yeah. drink from a dog bowl. Okay. Which is what I call going, no. Uh, <laughs> I'll say things like, all right, the first few times, I want you to enjoy yourself. But I want you to also, I want to set the expectations it's going to be very clinical. Okay. Okay. I'm going to be asking you questions. Now, sometimes people are into questions because it's like dirty talk. It sounds foreplay. I think like, you like that? You like that? It's like so like, how you doing? It's so it's but superficial. Then when it, when but you, you ask really questions, ask. are you like, is it okay now if I insert not, no, it's not, it's my, not. my fingers into your the o- vagine? So the okay, so like, is it okay feels very... Uh, well, if one, it needs to be consensual, of course, of course especially yes, now. Yes, yes, yes. And um, well, it didn't need to be peripheral carpet. Well, I did. Okay. Well, I'm just saying it wasn't popular. Yeah, it was always People are, oh, I always did. I always asked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always asked. Okay. Sometimes I would ask and I ask and they'd say, yeah. And I go, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I used to talk about it on stage. I, I would ask. <clears throat> I wouldn't. I would talk about like, I don't understand that other side of people doing stuff. Because it's like, even when a girl is telling me how much she's enjoying it, I'm like, just tell me the truth. Like, do you want me to be here? <laughs> you know, oh, like, okay. Well, that's your neuroses. Yeah, but also, I was young. I'm cool now. I'm an actor now. You are cool. I know. I see it. And hello. Yeah. So now now I'm cool, but I don't want to get into this. Okay. You don't have to. But I read books. Okay. You read books. That's good. That's important. Did you read books on how to um, get a guy off? No. How did you find out? I haven't. Well, you're pregnant. Well, you got pregnant. I was. Yeah. How'd that happen? Uh, through uh, medical intervention. 
And that's- do, do, do. Medical intervention. Here's why we had a budget. I would want to film this. <laughs> and just you in a gown, uncomfortable. Yeah. And just a whole bunch of guys, like, just, you know. Just what? Checking your parts. You did a sure. thing, though, with yeah, your just, hand. Yeah, you know, just like, you know, I got to go over there. Oh, yeah, 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 you know, yeah, so yeah, then, yeah. And then yeah, Tack would come yeah, in yeah, and they yeah, would yeah, put yeah. a needle in his urethra and pull it out. Oh. Which is, which is how you do it. What? I want to, there's something about being dirty in this seat that doesn't feel good to me. I know. So what have you been up to? Tell me. Yeah, taking over. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you something that uh, I don't know how much I want to get into about it. Oh. But I think you'll really be able to understand it. I was actually, I knew, this was one thing I knew I'd be talking to you about. Your voice is so deep. Mm, yeah. No, but is that new? Mm-hmm. Are you doing an affect or are you sick? I'm doing an affect. Oh, okay. I'm usually here. Yes, that's this the is Rick what, this I know. Is, this is how I usually talk? Yeah, that's my Rick. Yeah, but since I've become, uh, since as we see it and I've won awards, oh, this one right here with the wings. Oh, that one and that one, yeah. As a dramatic actor, um, now I'm kind of bringing it down here a little bit. Okay. It's heavy, isn't it? Hey, that's very cool. Whatever. I don't even remember I have it. Spotlight Award. Yeah. Rick Glassman is Jack Hoffman. That's mm. pretty cool. Yeah. You know uh, what's funny is, uh, I don't know if they didn't realize they did that, but my name is Jack Hoff, man. <laughs> oh, so it's his a- first name is Jack Hoff. No, his first name is Jack. His name is Ho- Jack Hoffman sounds like a Simpsons <gasps> oh, joke. Oh, yeah, it that does. That Bart would call Mo. Is there a uh, last name Hoffman, first name Jack? Is Are you cool a, with me touching it? Yeah, okay. whatever. I'm cool, man. Jack Hoffman. That's true. You're right. Oh, okay. So I had a, a guest over yesterday. He sat right here. Oh, who was it? Bill Burr. Shut up. Yeah. I love Bill of, Burr. Who doesn't? And I got nervous. You I, did? Yeah, and I want to talk to you about it because you're on that all the time and you know him. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he had the Bill Burr effect on me. And I knew he would beforehand. And isn't he? He's just so naturally funny he mm-hmm. can say any mundane thing and it's funny yeah. i mean i guess he's a comedian so like obviously that's just how he they are but there's something really special mm-hmm. about it that's so cool but he was there yeah and i was he ner- came to your house yeah 90 okay. minutes just talking to me <clears throat> and the thing is uh i've been uh around so many celebrities and i don't get it doesn't matter and it matters with him. Is he your co- who's your comedy? Who's your stand up hero? Seinfeld. Okay. Seinfeld, Chappelle, Burr. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. But there's there's a little like I I I cared how he f- feels about me and I felt that on me and I hated it. Did you feel like you were able to let your guard down a little to like really enjoy yourself? Yeah, I just wasn't the the proper confident me. I I. I there are certain moments where things were a little like, which always happens in a long conversation. Yeah. Like there's downbeats and whatever. And normally I'm very comfortable in it and I'll mark this moment. Uh, don't really keep it on. I'm saying this is what I do, you know, and we yeah. edit those out yeah. and I'll give a little direction, what funny stuff. And I thought of some stuff, but I just didn't do it. I wasn't doing it because I was scared that I don't want him to feel like, what the fuck am I doing here? I don't want him to be weirded out by me. And normally I'm okay taking that risk because I I believe in my choice. Yeah. And I d- wasn't like that with him. And and, and at for afterwards I felt a little uh, ashamed. Like I've worked so hard on making like understanding myself and accepting my feelings, and I still got. But uh, I called my mom after, and she's like, "It's okay. like you're supposed you look up to this guy. You're supposed to." And I'm like, "Yeah, it's okay." I think people feel like this often. Did you tell him how much he means to you? I didn't. I did, and I didn't want to. Why not? He I didn't want to in the really way I did. He appreciated it. How'd you do it? He goes, You're what's crying? the matter with you? <laughs> oh, did he really? <laughs> well, in a funny way, because there was an energy shift for a moment. Uh-huh. He goes, what's going on? And I go, I could tell you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to, it's going to get, you know, I'm sure it was fine. Everything was great. I'm sure I'm sure you're being hard on yourself, especially since it's, it's him. Yeah, but he's... I think that's really special that you got to tell him how he made, how he influenced you. That's nice. Uh, that's nice uh it wasn't so much influencing me as much as looking up to him being one of the best in the thing that i do yeah you know who influenced me is conan oh and i never felt that way with conan you are shockingly comfortable with conan i'm comfortable with everybody the the first then what do you think it is about bill he is kind of intimidating a little bit yeah i thought about this two things one the bill burr effect it exists i've spoken to people about this what's the it's the bill burr effect oh okay you're around bill burr and you're just like oh my god 
What do you mean? He's the it's fucking he's the best. Why are you saying it like it's something everybody knows about? It's because somebody somebody else called it the Bill Burr effect. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Okay. Somebody so said this it to must me. be a comic thing. Maybe he's because a com- he's probably like that around other comics where you maybe because yeah. he's so good at being a comic that mm-hmm. when other comics are around him, you're like, oh my god, it's Bill Burr. Ugh. The guy I was talking to last night about it is, uh, and I don't know why it doesn't really matter. I just feel like because I'm telling you something he said to me, so I don't want to say his name. Okay, but that's like fine. he's he's around all the people. Um, and he's the one that called it the Bill Burr effect. I'm like, if you think of the Bill Burr effect, I'm like, yes. Yeah. But the other thing is, and I think the bigger thing is, he's in my house doing my podcast, doing yeah. me a favor. Yeah. I think if I were doing his podcast or we were out somewhere, it might be different. Okay. Because like when I was t- playing with Conan the first time, it was in his office. At playing any, with Conan. Like just doing jokes. and like. Oh, okay. That's just such an f- interesting, like you went for a play date. Yeah, that's interesting. To Conan. That's how I look at it when I'm, I'm playing with people. Yeah. Because you're there. There You want them to be your friends. And you're like, uh-huh. I'm going for a play date with Conan. Uh huh. And then Bill Burr's coming over for a play date. But I don't think I played with Bill enough. That's the. I want to be playing with people. Okay. Oh, you were yourself immediately around, around Conan. I was there when you first met him, wasn't I? Yeah, yeah. I was. Yeah. yeah. And you were very Sona. What the fuck does that mean? In a good way. Okay, because you made it sound like oh, ugh, you were you extremely so sona. <laughs> no, it was lovely. We loved it. <clears throat> okay. No, because you were you were being like um, the mom to the three of us. Okay, and you're like Rick, Rick Brent, you know, Conan, you can't. And I'm like, yeah, hold yeah, on, yeah. no. And and then I don't know if you remember, you came in and Conan made you leave. Yeah, <laughs> I think <laughs> I do just, remember. Just wanted the boys or just the yeah, people who were yeah, willing yeah. to play or whatever. Yeah. Um. Uh. I. Uh, <clears throat> I clear my throat constantly. By the way. Oh. It's a cl- throat clear. I, was, I did it in my elbow. Look in the down one to all the way to the right. That box up. There you go. You want me to take a Mucinex? Gulp, gulp. I'm, I'm listening to some some um, uh, Bill Burr stuff before he came on his newer stuff, like the episodes that came out this week and last week. And he is hawking up a storm. And I was like, oh, so I had that ready to give to him. So you were just going to give him Mucinex? Yeah. I mean, it's a joke. Did you? Yeah. <coughs> no, Grandpa. What's Mucinex? You've never had a Mucinex? I've seen the advertisements. I don't know what that's for. Is that upset stomach, coughing? Go to Mucinex.com slash Tyso. Mucinex. Dude, it works. Torrent. And yeah, it's going to work. Decongestant. Take one. Dude, this thing fucking drop kicks your liver. Oh, is it bad for you? Well, I mean, mucus isn't bad for you. Mucus is getting whatever's in you out of yeah. you, and then that shit dries it up. No, no, no. That and helps. Don't an you better. dare. No, 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 me. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, Bill. But it helps bring the mucus out. Neither one of us are doctors. That's fair. You know, we both go to CVS. We do the best we can. Mm-hmm. You go into an aisle, you grab a colorful thing. <laughs> These are not my symptoms. I had. I needed a throat clear. I, I need a cuff button an ex- on my An expectorant. Is it helps you? It helps get all the stuff that you're trying to get out out. It loosens the mucus, it's so it a, comes it's out. It's not a it's not a mucus thing though. It's like a throat is like it becomes raspy, and I need to be like. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. I'm wrong. Fuck you. I hate when people do that. No, yeah, don't worry about it. You're given, and you know what? I love it when people do that. When they apologize, when they say something. I am sorry. <sighs> <laughs> Why don't I like it? I think because you're intimidated by me. <laughs> I'm not, though. I love now? you. I've known you forever. <laughs> oh, Rick, is that you trying to be intimidating? I'm Sona. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Wait, he was here yesterday? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious how it's going to be. I, I did an introduction after he left. I called my mom on the thing to explain to my mom what happened in case when watching it, if it feels like, oh, yeah, Rick's off. I want. I, I don't want to hide it. I, if and if I'm not, I want to acknowledge it instead of people watching it and like figuring it out at different times. So I might have that intro in where I tell my mom I'm feeling this way just so people get it. But I also don't want to turn them off because it's still a good episode. Yeah, I'm sure it is. We'll, we'll no, see. of course it's a good episode. Um, have you ever had a bad episode? Mm-hmm. You don't have to tell me who it is, but so you'd had an episode where it, after it was done, you're like, Ugh. well, there's two versions of that. I've had episodes where I was very uncomfortable with how it went. Uh-huh. But it was still honest, so I posted it, and I was very embarrassed. But like, I made that decision for right or wrong. Then there was ones where like, I 
I actually, I don't think the guests would even want me. Like, there was one in particular in my mind where it just, I don't even, I think. It just. Oh. Did you even post it? No, you. He was. Ah. Oh. No, no. Well, we know it's a guy. Yeah, well, there's a few I haven't posted. Um. So you do that them. hasn't happened in a long time. But like you, that was when we first started. Oh, okay, so you you do them, you finish them, you spend all this time recording it, and then no, you I just... do after after the conversation. I felt a little certain way. I'll show it to two people. Um, not random people. Like there's a few people I have. I want two sets of eyes. This is how I felt. Do you agree? And they'll be like, no, no, it's good. And like, oh, this must have been me just feeling embarrassed. Oh, and then I'll post it. Okay. And they go, oh, yeah, yeah, this is not I'm like, yeah, right. And like, well, I don't want to post it. And then I'll tell the, I tell the guest. You do? Oh, absolutely. Are they offended by that? Who knows? But I'm, I'm, I'm always honest with that stuff. Well, they probably feel it too. Yeah, I don't think I say the truth. We didn't shine in this. I don't think you'd be happy with me posting this. That's nice and very honest. Yeah. That's good. Good for you. Um. I'll move on from the Bill Burr thing and and we'll talk about more stuff. But no, I do but want to tell I really want to hear thing. more about this Bill Burr thing. Uh, I do because uh, there was a. Um, I always do bore my arms tired. It's a joke that I've been doing for a decade. I say it on stage too. I just bore my arms tired comedy um, because it's a guaranteed laugh. The thing is, nobody laughs at that. At it is that the one where I, I just flew here from L.A. Boy, are my arms tired? Yeah, but I is there a spin? Well, I'll tell you. I do it in different ways. There's tons of ways I do it. You rick it. You rick it up. And I did it with Bill. And uh, Bill said, so where are you from? I go, I'm from Cleveland. And boy, are my arms tired. Okay. And he laughed. Oh. And he, like, why am I laughing at this? He laughed. No one laughs. I've gotten two laughs. Do you know who they were? Who? Bill Burr and the day I met Conan. Wow. Yeah. Maybe because the humor is so, let's be real. We're not, both. Not great. Oh, I was sure you were going to go the other way. Are you? I was sure you were going to be like, That's, you three are just brilliant. Rick, that joke is, you know that. It's like, uh, hey, is your is your refrigerator running? You better your go. Your arms might be tired. It's the same kind of joke. I know what it is, bitch. So that's... Oh, so it's that's, improv, bitch. I'm just wondering why two brilliant... Com- three, three. Three brilliant comedic minds would be like, oh, that joke. I'll tell you why. Because it's a classic. All men. Oh, this is a gender thing. Are little boys. Oh, yeah. Okay. All most men. Most men. At least are also little boys. Right. Right. And that doesn't go away. Why is that? Because it's part of you. But like women have to mature. You're also a little girl. You know what? I am, but there is more grown up in me than there is grown up in you, probably. Uh, uh, um, I mean, you do have more homes than I do. Why do you keep bringing up my homes? Look, I have a condo and I have a home. Obviously, you must have multiple properties. You know, people, on YouTube, people on YouTube area. think I'm so rich with some of these comments they, they make. Really? It's insane. How much money do you think I have? I have like... Eight million dollars. Oh, see, I thought you were going to say less because you were talking about. It. I don't have that much money. I was. Joking. I know you don't. I mean, you rent. Clip it. <laughs> Laughing with a diamond glaring in my eye. <laughs> yum 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 it. Um. Oh my yeah, god! But, I'm but, kidding. Obviously, one of my sorry. Just to clarify, one of my homes which is a condo i bought when i was an assistant just because i was really good at saving money Mm -hmm. so it's not like i'm you know swimming in it how's your book sales why what what are you doing making money yeah making some money swimming in it no i'm not swimming in it you don't swim in no question when you're swimming in your money above ground or in ground you think i'm like scrooge mcduck is it scrooge who has a lot of money Mm mm-hmm Right? He had the money mm-hmm. Yeah, he, goes, he was swimming in it. Why didn't he invest it? Because That's just how much he had extra that yeah. he could put it in a yeah, pool? He invested in, he invested in properties. But isn't that irresponsible? It's not collecting any interest in a pool. What's irresponsible is holding on to so much money that you do nothing with but swim in instead of recognizing that other people could be using this. Why and not donate it, it, right? It doesn't even have to be donating. It could be investing into the communities. You know what? That's what I do. That's why I rent. Yeah. Okay. 
It is. We're I back put, to that. I, I was just. I know. built a. I built a, a, a an outdoor baseball park, tennis court, and two basketball courts in Cleveland last summer. I can't tell when you're joking. No, it's because I'm a good actor. Well, you are. Whenever but... we, I mention how good of an actor I am, I I slightly move the the one of the wings just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Can I say? Can I say that? So when I was shooting, as we see it, um, you know, they were well, make it about Jason you though. Make Kadams. it make it about you. Be, yeah, talk yeah, about yeah. you, Sona. Make what? it about you. Make it real. Make when it... I was shooting, as we see don't it, talk about something that you were doing. Oh, that is braggadocious. When I was, I don't really do much that requires bragging. One of my homes, which is a condo, I bought when I was an assistant just because I was really good at saving money. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, when we did our show at the Beacon Theater last month, you know, in front of 3,000 people, it was just one of those moments where we were recording a live podcast. It's called Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend. And we were in front of 3,000 people and we were at the Beacon Theater and too much. Too much. Is it too much? <laughs> For the audio only, she's jerking off the trophy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, congrats on that. That's really cool. Thank you. He was the best robot blowjob of my life. Do you, like, you were nominated for this and then you won. No, that was more of a of a thing where they just gave it to us. I mean, like it was a spotlight award. Like one person gets. So you one. knew when you went to the awards, you were getting an award. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, it, I was hoping there was a moment where they were like, "As we see it," and then you're like, "Oh my god!" I didn't know that that, that was we would be giving speeches though. Oh, so you didn't prepare anything? No, but I did all right. I'm sure you're a good extemp speaker. A good extemp speaker. You too. Thank you so much to the Hollywood Critics Association. Thank you, Amazon. Thank you, Lizzo. Say hi, Lizzo. She's probably watching right now. Say hi, Lizzo. I got to work with these actors once they became part of it. It became really one of the most special experiences I've ever had doing this. And so I'm I'm very, very lucky to be sharing the stage with them. You guys want to... The show is very important to us. Um, I just, I, it's, my under, it's my understanding that Lizzo is watching tonight. And I, I would be remiss if I didn't take this opportunity to invite her to come on to my podcast. So Lizzo, that's the Take Your Shoes Off podcast. It's more important now than ever. Also, it's my understanding that Lizzo's watching. I, I'll say hi, hi to her, and also if Harry Styles is watching, hello to you too. Can I tell you a secret? Uh, if anyone is watching at home, Lizzo or anyone, uh, if oh, okay. You would just want to insert your acceptance speech in there. Any excuse to do it. Yeah, I asked Lizzo to come on my podcast. <laughs> you did? Uh-huh. Oh, she'd be such a good guest. Yeah, we would we would make I such love... good music. You want to make music with her? Yeah, that's what I call. I mean, I call what we do podcasting making music. Oh, the like same I'm a ja- jazz. Like we'd make sweet music together. Yeah, but she actually makes music. Same. So you guys could make music. That's together. what I meant. Like, okay. First base. You see, <laughs> uh, this is so comfy. I I don't mind this at all. That's a great spot. Do you want to try it out? Yeah. Are you? How's your coffee? Are you gonna want more? She's empty. Let Let me Let me Let's 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 do this for a second. Load her up. Um, That's what we say. So you do this podcast with Conan, and yeah. you have all all these people too. You know, bigger people, and um, uh, the, is there anyone that at any point has had? The Bill Burr effect on you? Well, Bill Burr. So you do get it. As in not, no, I mean as in like every time he's on, it's, uh, 
he's just so funny and so quick and then he says things and a lot of me is like should i laugh at this i don't know if it's okay for me to laugh why at would this. it ever not be okay because some of it is very like edgy and i'm you know not okay to publicly laugh because you're condoning yes, it you mean yeah oh you're manipulating the way people see you i understand uh but he's he's just a really funny person um is he funnier than me yes did you want me to hesitate no hold on ask me again is he funnier than me uh, i mean e yeah is that better worse. it's worse. worse uh because ask me again okay is he funnier than me no second worst <laughs> okay the worst one was the worst the, the, the reason that went the, the second the, the the hesitation to the um yes was worse is because you knew the answer i saw you know the answer but uh basically because of your you were indicating yeah um, well i'm not i'm not very good at acting we know and then you <laughs> so you were indicating so the answer was already there so then all the other information was showing how much you felt that it was going to hurt me yeah and that is also insulting so i was thinking i knew from the beginning the answer was yes is what you're saying and that's, i knew saying it could hurt you and i was probably in my head should i say it that's so that pause is saying not only is he funnier than you but rick is insecure and he can't take it so if yeah. you wanted to put a hesitation to make to soften it as if to make it be like like yes he is but like it's not that obvious you would have to find that answer. So your thinking shouldn't be because I'm pausing. Your thought should be, well, Rick is really... How do I say it in a way that won't I'll show hurt? you. Well, okay. I'm fine. I mean, of course he's fine. Well, yeah. But, but, but the, the act, I'm, like, as an acting thought, um, your job isn't to perform ever as an actor. Your job is to have thoughts and to respond. Okay. And if your thought is, I don't want to hurt Rick's feeling, we're going to know. If your thought is figuring out who's funnier, it's going to soften it. And I'll show you. Ask okay. me. Do you think I'm funnier than Bill Burr? Hold on. Do you think Bill Burr is funnier than me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but you really I look like... I figured it out. But you're really looking like you're thinking about it, but I know... that. But that's what I'm saying. If you, uh, if you know, then say it. Uh, if you are... You're like, should I hesitate? If you were to hesitate, don't do it if, you're, if the reason you're hesitating is to soften it, that's how you do it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Y you're not holding up because if I'm like, to ask, do I look pretty? Do I look pretty? Oh. It's like, oh, even before the answer, doesn't matter. You're like, but if I'm thinking about it, ask me again. Am I, do I look pretty? Yeah. Like, then Word? you believe it. Yeah, okay. Ask me now, watch, ask me again, I'll say Do I look pretty? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, okay, hold on. Okay. Think about it. Okay. Because what, what do we all want? Whether we whether we whether our conscious knows it or not, what do we want? We want honesty. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But does it matter if the honesty comes quickly or if it comes after a pause? This is back to the manipulation, like what you do when you're choosing not to laugh at something. Are you thinking about how other people see you or are you accepting who you are and you're delivering that? Well, no, I don't. It's the thing with him. It's is improv, I see, bitch. I see. I still laugh at everything he says, right, right, but right, right, sometimes right. after, because I can't stop myself. If I think something is funny, I'm just going to laugh at it. But there are times when I'm like, should I be laughing at this? Why shouldn't you? Because some of the things that he, like he was on our show recently and he talked about how he laughs at certain news stories. Yes, but he, what he said he was laughing at is that he's saying there's nothing else we could do. This is what we're give, they're giving us, like the situation of it. Yeah. Leave Bill alone, dude. Wow, you're such a Burr apologist. <laughs> do you, Burr, I got my I got my BA. Do you think he's related to Aaron Burr? A B. You're saying his initials, but well, you're not answering the question. I I know for a fact he's not. Why? How do you know that for a fact? Because Aaron Burr derives from England and Bill Burr from Ireland. But how do you know? Is he pure Irish? Because he because he got twenty three and me too'd. You didn't hear? No. Yeah, Bill Burr. Did got, he really? He got twenty three and me too'd. Okay. Turns out he's from Ireland. Boy, his arms tired. We'll be right back. Hey, Rick. You know what I? Hey, love? Dad. Oh yes. You know what I love about this mattress? Is it that it comes shipped delivered to the door in this box? Come on, it's a king size mattress. Normally, the last king size mattress I had, it took three guys to take it up my steps. Bring Sounds it like a good house. Saturday night. Yeah. This 
is a great idea. I can't wait till we open well, it to see. Do you think a king mattress is really in there? I don't believe there is. Mom, what do you think? I think there's a king size mattress in there, and I think they stuffed it in, and it's going to be fabulous. You know what I say? A king size mattress for a queen. I almost called you a queen size mom. <laughs> for a queen mom. <laughs> Queen size mom. You're a queen mom. You're mom. the queen bee of my, our family. My mom said that she didn't want to be in this because of the That's way the way she looked, and I said that we could blur her. So, mom, give a little snap. Okay, now we've blurred her body, but her face is still there. Rick, let's open that. this baby up. I can't wait to see what that looks like. Let's open this baby up. Let's open this baby up. Let's open this baby up. This is exciting. I feel like we need a drum roll. Oh, yeah. You know, Mama, if you could do that the whole time. Okay. Look at this. This is so cool. Drum roll. You know what? Teddy would love this because it's, it's the size of a joint that he normally rolls. What a reveal we have wow, here on Take is... Your Shoes Off, folks. I can't believe if this king size mattress is in there, what a machaya. Oi. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Look at how now beautifully wrapped mattress. that is. Oh, it even comes with an entire book to read before you go to sleep at night. Go to helixsleep.com slash Tyso for $200 off and two free pillows. I said that. Everybody's unique and Helix knows that. Oi. I can't read it. So that I can't read it. Uh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Go to helixsleep.com. I took the Helix quiz and I was two hundred dollars off mattress because I wanted something that felt. <laughs> oh woo! Look at it! Wow, what a groovy mattress! Wow, look at it! So thick! Wow! Whoa! This look is, at this! Wow. Look this at is this! Wow, this is beautiful. I've always wanted to do this. This is. I've always wanted to do this. This is... <laughs> wow, is, this, is it nice? Let me tell you something. This mattress could break up my family because I'm only going to sleep down <laughs> here from now on. This is very comfortable. Oh, my goodness. So they have different mattresses you could get. We picked the one where I'm a back sleeper, so it's a little bit more firm. And uh, you go to helixsleep.com slash Tyso to take the sleep quiz. Say you sleep on your back, your side, farm, hard, cold, hot, whatever it is. It takes about a minute to finish the quiz. They'll recommend the mattress. Oh, my goodness. Go to helixsleep.com for up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows. Go to helixsleep.com slash Tyso for up to $200 off <laughs> and two free pillows. And don't boo-boo on those two free pillows. They're great pillows and they're well worth it. <laughs> we may leave it down here. Who needs a sofa in the living room? We'll just have a bed. Look, a little pillow with one of my two free pillows. We It'll do, prop we me up and I can watch babe. TV. We could do a love it and this have all... This is the best. Come on, that's nice. Oh, man. We're back. Is he really 100% Irish? Nobody knows. Conan knows. He took a DNA test. He's 100% Irish. Isn't that Lizzo? Took a DNA test. Turns out I'm 100% Irish. Oh, Irish. Yeah. I bet he... Isn't that how... Uh, uh, isn't that from Crazy Rich Asians? What? Didn't they say, uh, uh, do you have a lot of money? And he go, they go, Irish. <laughs> Irish. You're doing an Asian joke? I'm doing a rich joke. Irish. Irishard. <laughs> Isn't it worse when you can hear the ice clinking? I can't say that word. Ice. Clanging? The Bell Burr effect. So who, who, who have you uh, had on that uh, made you feel nervous? Slash. Yes, Bill Burr slash anybody else. Who would it be? Slash. Oh, the uh, the performer? guitarist from Guns N' Roses, Jewish. the first love of my life. Yeah, Saul Hudson. Is that why you have your hair like that? It could be. I just heard a beep, but good. Do you need to check them? I just did. Okay, you get really close to the microphone. Mm. You're on it. Mm. Sometimes, not always. Okay, uh, but yeah, Slash, because he. You know, when I watched the November Rain video and he came out wearing those pants and that jacket. Oh, and did you think he was attractive? 
Did I think? Did I think? Do I think? Did. I love him so much. I don't, but I will say this. People always ask me who I want on the podcast. If Cher ever came on our podcast, I don't think I could speak. Wow. Yeah. Well, I had Cher on. Fuck off. No, you didn't. I know you didn't. Because if I, you did, I would know. Oh, I said that wrong. I was on a chair uh, on the podcast. You were on as Cher? Uh, my, my, on a, I'm usually on a chair, I'm saying. We'll be right back. We're back. Guess Bill Burr is funnier than me, huh? Yeah. I mean, sorry, hold on. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> Having gas. <laughs> Hold on, let me try it again. Sure. <clears throat> you look like you're doing a Jewish impression. <laughs> you're like, no. Well, you just look anti Semitic. Hold on, let me try it again. Um, More Jewish. Because <laughs> I made a noise? Uh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Um, it's crazy when people are bad at acting because it feels so easy. You just what have to feels easy. Acting, just think the acting thing. Acting is hard. Just think the thing. It's big. I don't. You can't just think the yes, thing. Yes, you can. What you're doing is you're making a face. What you think people do as so a face. You, what do you want me to think? Like, think, think. Well, well, Rick's funny. Bill does this. No, Rick. Oh, is, an internal. My yeah, internal, like have the okay. literal have thoughts. Let me. Let me. Okay. Uh, literal have thoughts. Literally have thoughts. Now that feels like you're attacking me for being a dumb dumb because you're like fucking think you dumb bitch i don't know what how you grew up but that little girl inside sona maybe does need to come out more so she could speak up and sell, tell us what she needs uh, so think of that think about how i just made you laugh and then think about bill okay no, i can't do it have you ever actually thought of something like where do you want to eat have you ever gone mm, you know like without being ironic <laughs> That's not what it is. People behave what they how they've seen other people behave. But why no one thinks like no one thinks like that. So why is that the way people think? How like I, jokingly when they're like, hmm. Yeah, uh, it's just it's just hyperbolic. I mean, that's what they do in cartoons. That's what they yeah. do on multicams. They go like this. Let's see here. Let me see. Yeah. I guess because some people go like this. You know, there's like a contemplative way of being that some people are. But isn't just thinking normally just kind of boring? Because you're really just like. Uh. That's what. That's the difference between film and stage. Okay. Because when in, when you're acting in film and television, you have to try. I mean, there's a story. There's a narrative. There's a point to the scene. Your job isn't to write it anymore. Your job is to be it. So if it's boring, that's not on you. Your job is to just be believable and to be present. There's going to be close-ups. There's going to be music. There's going to be tension. There's going to be a reason. There's going to be reaction shots. Suspense. Suspense. Nice finger thing. Thank you. Make sure when we did that, we were close. Maybe, uh, you know, a we sepia. We do a zoom. Yeah. A little, oh, sepia. Yeah. That's good. It gives it a little noir feel. Sure. Yeah. Sure. See, even that you're you're squinting. Sure, we're seeing sure. we're seeing you have thoughts. It's so much more interesting when you can see you have thoughts, Sona. Well, it's better. It's easier for me to have thoughts when you're telling me, like, not telling me to have thoughts. Does that make sense? Oh yeah, I was coaching you, not telling you, Charlie Brown. Show her the socks. Are they Charlie Brown? They look socks? like Charlie Brown if you went to Michigan University. Okay. You wouldn't get that. It's too. It's too smart. Deny. Oh, it's smart. You're Was the, it smart? You're the best, Sona. Was it? Is it smart? And do they call it Michigan University or is it the University of Michigan or is it just Michigan? It could there could be two different ones? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I've never heard it called the Michigan University. It might be. You, you're sorry. It's called University of Michigan. I U of M. So. Yeah, it's U of M. We are the mighty, mighty U of M. <laughs> you know? Aren't they your rivals? Because you're from Ohio. Um. Yeah. The, but not mine. I. You know. No. I, I don't have rivals. Is there, like, were you ever in co into college sports? Yeah, kind of, but I didn't have rivals. Really? People were like, fuck those guys. It's like, they just, they just went to that school. Okay. That's very mature of you. I've always been mature. As much as there's a little boy, you know, like the little Rick inside of me. Yeah. I'm also very mature. Do you wish there was a part of you that was like, God, I wish I just cared for a little bit back then. Because then that would have been fun to, like, curse out some, like. Cared about so much. Oh. Cared about my community. Cared about my family. <sighs> Cared about what I could give back.
<laughs> I didn't mean to like clink, clang the now microphone. Now you're making Asian jokes. Let's relax. Wow. Okay. Nervous. Nervous that you just made a joke that might get you in trouble. <laughs> no, I'm not. Gulp, 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 gulp. All right, let's get a refill, shall if we? Any, if there's anything people love, it's hearing people drink on a podcast. Oh, we gulp, gulp, gulp them. So people love it. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Allie Makovsky was on here not too long ago, and she did gulp, 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 gulp. Yeah. And now we put that sound effect in whenever we're drinking. Okay. That's nice. Yeah. Shout out to John Michael. Um, John Michael. Cheers. Cheers, friend. So good to see you again. This is the only time I get to see you. Mm -hmm. We don't see each other socially. I used to see you all the time. I know. And it bums me out. We're not even on that lot anymore. Do you even go on that? You used to go on that lot to like use the gym, right? Well, I was working on Warner Brothers. So whenever I was there, I would come see you. Um, yeah. But then even when you weren't working at Warner Brothers, you still had access to the lot and you would. I just I went there for different reasons. Like if, if, if I had auditions or I was going to do something or whatever. Do you I still would, go? Not much. No, I was just working on the 20th century lot. In Culver City? Yeah. That's a hike. Yes. Yeah. Boy, are my legs tired. We'll be right back. Okay. Funny stuff. It's good. Funny stuff. You want your... Yeah, you just throw it over here. It's not good. It's just surprising. Why? Because, I don't know, I just imagine heads not smelling that nice. Oh, I'm a... Is it your hair product? Yeah, I just, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a nice, I'm a clean boy. You are a clean boy. Yeah. Uh, just in case everything's out of focus, we'll make this the cold open. Hey, some of this stuff's going to be out of focus, but enjoy. What are you going to do? Yeah, and if it is in focus, we could still make this part the cold open. Don't worry. This whole episode is in focus. Get ready for a great episode with Sona Methsosian. How do you not know this yet? We are Sonoma friends. Mepsusian. I've never mispronounced Glassman. Yeah, obviously. It's uh, not Mepsusian. Sonoma Mepsusian. Has it Was your full name Richard? Yes. How come you didn't go by like Richie or Rich? Sonoma Mepso, Mepsusian. Mepsusian. Mepsus. I got everything but the sess. No, you got a lot wrong. I don't think so. Let's cut to a clip. Mepsusian. See, I got everything. But I don't even sus. know what you're going to. OK. Oh, you were redoing. OK, I guess I see what you're doing. Yeah. How come you're not rich or richy? Who decided I Rick? rich? <laughs> I rich. We're back there. We're trying that again. I rich. Do you think that if you try it again, it'll be funnier the second time? Yeah. <laughs> you think if it didn't work the first time, do you do that? If it didn't work the first time, you're like, I'm going to I'm going to double down on this. Not for spite. Not like that. No. OK. <clears throat> But sometimes it's not about being funny. Who said Rick? Your mom? I came home one day from school. I said, I'm Rick now. No, you did it. Yeah. And my mom said, I always knew this day would come. Okay. And I said, sit down, bitch. Make me some, what did you call it? Pizza bites. Pizza, make me, make me some pizza bites, bitch. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think about it's improv bitch as a shirt? I like that. I like that too. Would you wear it? <sighs> would you pay full retail? I, you're not going to give me a discount like we just came up with it basically together. I mean, you did most of it, but I was here. Yeah. I feel muse, like a muse. Did you say twice because you thought it'd be funnier the second time? <laughs> I think uh, I thought I mispronounced it the first time and I thought, say it again. So it's I hate how stigmatized these words are. Like even like a mistake, a mistake, a mispronunciation is so feminine with a miss. I like to call it Mr. Pronunciation. Mr. Steak. Mr. Steak. Or as Homer would say, mm, steak. But is it feminine or is it just like a Latin prefix? Prefix also seems interesting. It's like, it's almost like the Minority Report. We're like, not Minority Report. What's the one where Tom Cruise could see things before they break, before things bad happen? <sighs> You're going to ask me to think? Well, we know how difficult that is for this actress. Well, yeah. Oh, hey, you called me an actress. That's nice. Do you think that it's... I don't actually refer to female actors as actresses or female comedians as comedians. I say comedian and actor. Well, isn't that what the women in those fields prefer? 
I, st- I s- will speak for the women and I say no. Oh, good. Okay. So when I do need a female perspective, I'll just come to See, you. See, I think that's stigmatizing to cats. What? A perspective. <sighs> How much longer? We could end. No, I don't want to. I miss you. <laughs> okay. This is the only time we get to talk because we don't hang out. It is true. You don't seem as sad about it as I do. Why aren't you sad not hanging out with me more? We had so much fun together. I'll hang out with you more. Wow, you had to think about that so long. Or were you acting? No, I was thinking. <clears throat> we're not going to hang out. I'll hang out with you more. No, we're not. I live all the way in Altadena. You know, uh, well, one of your homes. It does. It does. Uh, the phone does go two ways. And uh, I have reached out to you numerous times. Uh, I've called you every day to ask you to hang out with me. But, you, you know, you're you a mom You've called now. me every day? Yep. I called you every day. Like you pick up the phone and you call me. I don't technically pick it up. I have it down on the table. I go, Siri, call Sona. And Siri, you know what Siri does now? You want me to call her again? Can't you take a hint? <laughs> <laughs> That's what Siri says to me now. She laughs at you. You are being so <laughs> pathetic the way you try to uh, make Bill Burr like you. Oh. Now you want Sona to be your friend. Do you think that if you saw Bill Burr in a comedy like club, he'll be like, Rick, do you think you made a lasting impression on him? I did a day on his movie that's coming out. Oh, cool. And that's how we kind of like Which met. Which movie? It's called Old Dads. Hey, Tack, my husband did a lot of the art for that movie. He's doing a lot of artwork. That's awesome. He's an artist. I mean, yes, but I mean like in this comedy space. Yeah, he does. Cool. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. When does that come out? Uh, I don't know if there's a release date because when he came on our podcast, I don't think there yeah, was Yeah, I don't one. know if there is, but if there's a release date by the time this comes out, actually, I think there is. It's... We're going to put the date here if we have it. If not, this is what it's going to be. Okay. When is this coming out? I just told you. No. Us. This. Oh, uh, first or second week of January. <gasps> That's nice. Yeah. You yeah. know, Armenian Christmas is January 6th. Do I know? I have it in my... Of course I know. Well, it's not Armenian. It's like... It's Orthodox. an Armenian Christmas. It's an Armenian Christmas. Yeah, I fucking... It's one of my favorite what? holidays. What? <laughs> What was that, Rick? That's the Romanian Christmas song. What was that? A- <laughs> what was that accent? Wow! What was that? I don't know how to do accents. That was me trying to be Armenian. <gasps> You're saying Armenian? Armenian, Armenian. No, there's a difference. Yes, Armenians are women. Armenians are men. <laughs> <laughs> Should I say Armenian X? You know. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Mm. It's good, Ooh, isn't it? Latin. I can't stop drinking this. Oh, man. I'm going to be so hyper. Yeah. I'm isn't it great, sleep. though? Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, I've made coffee like this sometimes, and people are just, they really, I, I've wanted to. I'm not going to, I don't think. But I really thought, like, I want to make a brand of something. Uh, I just like doing stuff and, like, having things. And, like, it would be cool to make one of these. Because, like, every time I make something, I mean, this they're different places. It's not just me, but the New Orleans in general. Like I could brand my version because every time I make somebody a coffee and I give it, they go, "It's the best I've ever had." You would you want to bottle her up? What would you call it? Um, I actually had this um idea. We're gonna bleep this um because I don't want people to know in case it happens. But uh, Betty and I were gonna start a tea company because Betty is a uh, um uh was a clinical nutritionist and formulate stuff for other brands like she knows a lot of that stuff and making nice teas and things that are blah 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 um but like people don't like to drink tea coffee drinkers don't prefer tea because they want to get that buzz yeah they fuck that so w- I, we were going to make one that has some great different versions of things um but still gets you that buzz because we have a lot of caffeine of in tea? it and listen to this name you ready for this uh I'm dealing with some stuff. Are you? With my hormones, yeah. Are you okay? I think so, yeah. But I just, my hormones are like through the roof. Really? Mm-hmm. Is that common for them to be high? I know low is pretty common. Well, I don't know. I mean, we don't know what's going on because I have... What does what does that do to you? Stop asking me these questions. Sorry. It's my high tea. Oh. Uh, no, I don't know. what It might, it might just be nothing. But... 
uh, I was getting panic attacks a couple years ago, and that's when I started like getting some tests. And uh, I don't know if that's the reason, but my uh, there's a few things with my hormones. I talk about it on stage now too, because right when the pandemic happened, my endocrinologist thought that I might have a tumor on my pituitary gland, but I was scared to go get the MRI because it was during lockdown. Rick. Um, it's not. I don't have it. Matt. I know, but that's scary. It's scary, and we're still figuring stuff out. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so you still don't know what it is. It might just be I'm um, I have high testosterone, but there were other things. My my prolactin was going like this. My my there was a period of time that my estrogen was also super high. Oh like my bo- god! Usually it's this. Does that affect your mood? Maybe my mood. I'm I'm a you know I'm I'm I don't know how much is you know relates to sometimes my OCD gets a lot more severe and uh I'm sure it's doing something it's gotta be yeah oh man I'm sorry you're going through that it's okay are you doing tests and stuff to figure it out okay well now less but like I have one over there I gotta mail in like another swab thing Uh, oh I hope you figure out what's going on that's the worst is when you just don't know well my the it's going to sound really corny. Maybe I should, doesn't, doesn't matter. You're going to probably make fun of me. I'm not embarrassed to say it, but I don't know because you always say like you don't know. It's, could I tell you something? Yeah. The doctors think I'm just so... I might be, just be too manly. Are you doing a bit? You're about, doing a bit. About the manly? Yeah. Yeah, but everything else is real. Okay, everything else is real. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, I was waiting for you to kind of do a bit about it. When you said you had high testosterone and then you started saying it and you were being sincere, I was like, oh, he actually does. And then, you know, with the manly, I was like, oh, there's a difference between a bit and a lie. Do a whole thing. No, I wasn't lying to you. You might be too manly. Do you grow more hair? Is that stupid? The first time I was twirling my mustache, this time there's two nipples on the end. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> so tell me about you. Tell me about your book. Tell me about your uh, motherhood, but make it quick. Okay. I wrote a book. Let's see it. Oh. It's my book. I get the irony, but I want to make sure people know that you aren't a bad assistant. You're just like a... You, Conan always well, said you were like straight down the middle. I'm not even down the middle. I think that I excel in certain things. Mm -hmm. And then in a lot of things, I'm not good. It's not the world's worst assistant in the sense that I'm actually the worst. Because I think the worst would be. Bleep that person. I don't like to speak negatively to people. Bleep who she said was the worst. I didn't say anyone specific. Exactly. Who are you you winking at? Yourself? Because you're editing this? Um, John Michael. Is that a person? How you doing? How you doing is that a person? Yeah. Is there really a guy named John Michael? Yeah, John Michael. Is Mi- his first name John and his last name is Michael? John Michael, don't listen to this part. I don't know. Is that true? No, it's it's John Michael. It's one name. John Michael is one. Is it hyphenated or is it one name? I don't have it hyphenated in my phone, and that's what I think is the... So I th- guess it's not. You guess it's... So he's watching this right now, realizing you don't really... It's John Michael, no space, no hyphen. Oh, okay. <laughs> but the way I do it is John... Capital M. Oh, I Capital see. J, capital M. That's cool. It like rolls off the tongue. John with an H? No. Okay. I have a friend, Sarah Violet. There's a hyphen. But I, I feel like Sarah I can't just Violet. say si- That's Sarah. That's pretty. Mm-hmm. That's very pretty. Mm-hmm. My kid's name is Michael. One of them. The other one's Charlie. Charlie and Michael. Oh, are you wearing those socks for Charlie? And Michael M for Michigan? Yeah, I am. Go Wolverines. Fuck yeah. That's I learned Rock that from, on. Oh, right, this one. Right, that's from Slash. Huh? Slash is fucking, fucking rock and roll. Fucking. What Ew. song is that? I don't know. Uh, I don't do music. All right, so you're not the worst assistant. So I'm not the worst, but I think that there is an idea in people's mind of what assistants are like in entertainment where they're like overworked and stuff, and that's not me. So Perfect. in that definition, I'm the worst. As in... It sounds if there's like a Conan's definition, the best. 
Conan is the best. I wrote this book and when I first told him about it, he's like, everyone's gonna like, he's like, what if this makes me look terrible? Like he was totally supportive, but then he's like, how much are you gonna put in there? And then I wrote it and then I just come off looking absolutely horrible. I think that I, the, the more stories that I wrote, the more like things I remembered, the more I was like, I got away with a lot. Mm-hmm. So anyway, it's a fun book. And Conan read it? Conan read it. He wrote the foreword. I remember you told me. You sent it to me, I think. I was going to go to the San Francisco thing, remember? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, that would have been fun. Mm-hmm. But you know what? It, it would have been, you know, so much traveling for you and it would have been such a small sort of thing. I was down for it. I, I just, know. I that just, was really sweet of you. I, uh, what was the <clears throat> issue? I think that it was like there was a layover. It was one day. I was in Cleveland and the budget wasn't even going to pay. F- I mean, I required first class. Okay. I did. I'm saying that. I'm saying that to. to you're making fun of my houses? No, I'm saying and that. And you're like, I only fly first class. If I'm going to fly across the country for 12 hours yeah. to do something, I don't need to make money on it. I'm happy to do it. I was literally not like as a favor. Like that would have been a nice thing to do. It would have been fun. Of. Yeah. But like cover my flight. I know or, you're right. Uh, you know, no, you're totally right. You're 100 percent right. I almost paid for it out of pocket because I thought it would it would have been really fun. But then I realized it just wouldn't have been worth it for you to fly from Cleveland if just I was in LA, for, it would have been, been like an hour that. long event. Yeah. Um, LA, oh yeah. If you didn't do it, I'd be pissed. But no, I'm not. I'm, I wouldn't have been pissed. I was so flattered that you asked me to do it. I, I thought would've it would have been fun. Because there's, you know, I think you're really good. They don't even know what we're talking about. Oh, okay. So I was, I had a book event in least. San Francisco. And, uh, you know, some for some of them, I, I had a moderator in, in LA. It was Matt Gorley, who's on the podcast with shout us. Shout out to Matt Gorley. Instagram, shout, right? Big shout out to Matt Gorley. And then... Uh, shout out to Matt Gorley. We'll put his Instagram handle up here. When you say shout out, you actually shout? Well, the way you said, it sounded like you were correcting me because I said shout out. And then you said a big shout out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big shout out. Yeah. Um, and then in, in San Francisco, uh, I asked you if you'd be willing to come to San Francisco thinking you were in L.A. Of course, of course. Uh, to moderate the book event that I had. at um, I should know the bookstore, cause, but I forgot about it. Um, anyway, you didn't. You let me down. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I remember I know you're joking but in case you forgot I specifically asked you if this is something that's important to you I, I will make it happen I'm making a joke but, I, but and like, I was really really sweet but I you. think that's necessary to say because sometimes people are like will you come to this thing and you're like no and then they're like I really wanted you to go you tell them later it's like if this is just a thing oh it would be cool and I'm like, well, it's it's gonna cost money. It's in, it's you know, like. But if you were to say to me, this, like, Rick, like I'm asking you to do me a favor, I would be happy to. Yes. You know what I mean? I like, know, and it, but that's the thing is I and I'm I'm comfortable enough with you to tell you if it was really important to me. I want you to know that. Like, if I if I really wanted you to come do it, I would have been like, is there any way you could make it work? I just yeah. really want you to be there. Uh, but it, it was for me. It was like if he can come, wonderful. If not, it's totally fine. And the person who works at the bookstore. What's the name of the bookstore again? <sighs> it's in San Francisco. It's an independent bookstore, so it would oh, be San Fran Independent. It would be important for me to say it. Well, you'll send it to me. We'll put up a picture. Should I look it up? We'll, we'll do it in post. Okay. I just feel awful because I just want to support the independent bookstores. Well, Green Apple, um, third place. Third place books are Green Apple books. Whichever one is in San Francisco, mm-hmm. they moder- They put together this book event in the sports basement oh they have different basements and one of them is a no sports it was one. like a sports store and then there's a section in the sports store where you could like do an event and and there were people there and i talked to them for an hour and and this person who worked at the bookstore they moderated it and uh they were wonderful so it was fine and i read from the book Did not to say that it wouldn't have been fun if you came but i want you to know it was perfectly okay would it have been it was more fun if bill burr was doing it yes sorry hold on would it be more fun if bill burr was doing it did your stomach hurt do it again do it again would i'm it, gonna do i'm gonna do it yeah okay would it be more fun if bill burr did it yes 
Was that good? Yeah, you did. You did indicate a little bit of worried about my feelings, which is fine and it's human. Okay. Uh, but yes, it was really good. All right. See, I can do this. Yeah. I can act. Yeah. Who? How hard I, is it? It's, I said to somebody recently, uh, acting is so easy. Getting the job is so hard. Oh. Like you have so many things you have to do to get that job. And then once you have it, you have so many people. No, stand here. <laughs> you know. Really? Look up a little bit. Say this. But you know what I've like acting seems like it's just so exhausting. Because you are on the set for a really long time, and then you have to stay like basically fresh that entire time. That, now, that's one of the skill sets that, that make, I think, a good actor is being able to be on. The thing that I have been told is what is, turns everybody off about me. In acting, it's nice to always be able to be on. Why do people... Tur- tur- no, Rick's he's always fucking on. Oh, this guy yeah, never turns it off. Yeah. Are you one of those people who's like in character in between takes and stuff? Um, sometimes, but not in the way where it's like, call me by my character's name. Oh, okay. It's more just like when you're playing basketball and then you lose, which has happened, not much. Uh, so you have to wait for the next game. Instead of just sitting there, you stay warm. Like, you know, you still move around a little bit. You shoot around, you stretch. Sure, sure. Um, so the, the, I have, like, there are times where like, like between setups, if I have a certain energy, I do try and keep that energy because otherwise I might not have that energy. And then it's like I have had conversations with uh, one of my co-stars and then one of the show creators. But like, oh, you're just like their thought is either save it or Rick, stop. Oh, okay. And mine is like, oh, that makes sense. No, I'm, I'm like, this is intentional. Ah. Like I'm like, you know, like when when there's joggers and they get to like a red light. Yeah. But then some of them still jog in place. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I do that. Oh, OK. But yeah, it's exhausting. You're using a lot of sports analogies. Well. Oh, figure it out. There you go. You know, I, I it's like I uh, as far as sports analogies are concerned, I do consider myself like the Michael Jordan of basketball. There you go. It's good. That's good. So do you when, think he would agree? Michael? Yeah. He doesn't know me. But if he saw you play, he'd be like, he's the me of the sport I played. And mm-hmm. I'm known for if 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 the if the pool of people doesn't include professional athletes but only comedians, yes. Okay, so there's like a little caveat. Tiny. So you're the Michael Jordan of basketball, but only when you're playing against other uh, stand-ups. All comedians are just stand-ups. Every comedian in the world. Every Any, comedian anyone, in the world. Anyone who's ever gotten a laugh. Would it piss you off if Michael Jordan became a comedian? No, get him on the pod. No, but like, because your whole thing is like, I'm the best, best, best I'm a player that, not, among comedians. That's not my whole thing. I don't care. I am phenomenal, but it doesn't matter. I saw your short, by the way. Did I tell you I saw it? And I loved it. Thank you. I loved it, Rick. Thank you. That's best player, worst. Uh-huh. Comedy Basketball League. That was a, one of the trophies I won. Do they still have this? Maybe, but I don't play in it anymore. I know you were. Were you really asked not to come anymore no, or not that, to that, go? That, that wasn't the Comedy Basketball League. That was Bill Lawrence's game. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was at, and then a couple weeks later, I was allowed back. But yeah, that whole thing, the, the whole Joel McHale played Bill. His whole script, although he improvised a little bit, the whole script was straight from the email Bill sent me. Oh. So it felt really good doing that. Um, and then Bill told me after, because Joel made a joke about, uh, in character, made a joke about having anal sex. Yeah. Like, oh, anal sex is great. And Bill texted me. He's like, loved the thing, blah, 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 blah. So many people now are asking me about if I, you know, anal sex with my <laughs> wife. <laughs> because they know that that's from his thing. So... Did you have to ask him if it's okay if you made that no. short? I was making it because uh, I started filming it in 2019. Like I filmed it over a few, few years. I didn't even know if I was going to share it. I was writing something based off of that story that Bill and I were pitching together. Oh, okay. Um, so he knew about it already. But uh, And then when I booked As We See It, uh, I wasn't allowed to be in a show anymore, so I put it away. And then when the show got uh, canceled, I'm like, I pulled that back up. It got canceled? Yeah. Why? I was going to ask you when season two happened. Mm. Everything's getting canceled these days. Why? Yeah. That bums me out. Especially you after that Asian joke. Ooh. I rich? No, when you went. I don't even want to say it. Clink. Clang. <laughs> I know we talked about you getting like basically removed from that league before, but did it hurt your feelings? I can't remember. It yeah. did, right? Do you think you making this short was your way of coping with your feelings because it lingered for so long? No. 
it was just question. a good idea. Okay. Yeah, it was, I mean, I, it was. I was inspired by it. Yeah, it was. Uh, it 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 brought so much awareness of how people see me differently than I see me. Yeah. And like I found that out so late. It was a, a great moment for me. Uh-huh. Uh Ultimately. Um, that I felt bad, but I was also really like thankful that like thank you for telling me. Was that exaggerated how you are? Like yeah. or did yeah, you? Yeah, I wasn't like that. You weren't that. That bad. was that was okay. A very heightened version of me. The version that I did in the and I the I'm phenomenal video, which is on YouTube, is uh. I forgot where the camera was, and I went there. Is how I think like the response that I got because in my head I'm the best. Of sh- of course, everyone loves me. I'm the first picked. Uh, oh, you! Not only are you the best in basketball, but everybody loves you, like as a basketball player or as a human being. Uh, How all of it? But I'm talking about getting? basketball. Okay. In my, I mean, I guess that's also a kind of grandiose version. Like in real life, I thought people love playing with me. They, they want me on their team because they want you know, like I'm good. Yeah. And I always want I'm the best funny. player on my team. Um, and then I found so if that isn't the case, which it turns out it wasn't, then what? What am I? Am I this? That version, like, oh, well, like, this is how bad oh, I am. Okay. So I did a version of, like, how I am interpreting they must have seen me. And I heightened it, you know, for comedy purposes. But, like, no, I I, I mean, I don't think I was that. Do you, do you ever think about just going super humble and then just being really good? Like, wouldn't that have more of a punch to it? You mean if, in real life? Yes. I'm not really fucking dunking on everybody every play to some but like i'm not there being <laughs> like you know like you know coming in with my suit and headphones and like i'm the fucking i'm an athlete i'm going like i'm but it's you're all jokes. doing something i'm because that's but if you were quietly the best it wasn't about being the best it's not really about being the best it's just competition is fun yeah fighting people are you competitive very Really? So I love it. I love pushing. I love even in jokes and sparring and fighting and like calling people out, um, uh, pushing people around, getting into like actual physical fights sometimes. And just like, and then afterwards, just like. Actual physical fights? I've gotten into like, I think people will be shocked at how many fist fights I've gotten into. Rick, I you're kidding. Younger, younger, not in this in When this was game. the last fight you've gotten into? Like a fist fight? Like a fist fight. I mean, I wrestle with friends and maybe like do this and maybe it gets a little serious, oh. but like an actual swinging, getting punched and punching like mid 20s, okay. early 20s. So like a couple years ago. Thank you. Yeah. So for the next three years, up, <laughs> up through the next three years. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, I, I just, oh, that's where I first started making friends was like getting physical with people and like, like. That's how you first started making friends? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I started having friends, like I started like having friends more consistently, like when I started playing basketball in high school. I Before that, I wasn't like, I had some friends, but like not really, I wasn't really included in things. And then basketball, and you're getting physical and like standing up for yourself and pushing people around and it's like earning each other's respect and then like being good at the thing. It's like, yeah, bonding, it's bonding. It's- Did you play in college? I played in college, bleep this, intramural. <clears throat> you could keep it in. Yeah, but why didn't you play like sports like in the? I didn't get good in, uh, until like my sophomore year. Of, I, I started playing basketball real late. I didn't get good until like sophomore year of college. Do you wish you played earlier? I don't want to say that because I'm very happy where I am, and I think like if I was in the NBA, I would have be having a good time, and I could have been. But like I wouldn't be playing that much. But I could be in the NBA. Uh, could you? No. I don't think you could. No, no offense. You just you know. You didn't see me in my prime. Were you taller in your prime? A few inches. <laughs> I've been hunching. You know, it's funnier. <laughs> it's fu- you know, comedy's funnier when you're like this. Oh, that's oh, so you're actually a couple inches taller than what you are. Yeah, that's why when, when I slate for things, depending on what they need, I say I could play anywhere between six one and six seven. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, you're six seven. You well, can get I, to six seven. I play like I'm six seven, except for my handles. My handles, I'm like I'm. I point. I'm pointing so much today. Hey. I think because every time you wink at your camera, I'm like, guys, <laughs> check that out. Even though I don't even know how this is going to be edited, what am I pointing at? It doesn't matter. The thing that's what's so great about you, you could point at anybody. That camera is not even focused on me. Um, what's what's new since we last spoke about the uh, 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 Conan needs a friend? 
and your position and the longevity of this and Conan now not having the proper show. Where do you stand the with this? The proper show. Yeah, like he doesn't have his... Well, my, you know. my position has shifted a lot. Did I... I don't know if I... I can't, it was January. So I did have my kids the last time I came. So, you know, I went on maternity leave when I had my boys. We know. <laughs> yeah. Cut to a clip of her on maternity leave. Well, okay. <laughs> what does that look like? Uh, and then I... Uh, this guy, David, took over for me. I think I did tell you this. Then when I came back from maternity leave, he just kept doing my job. Mm. So he does most of the assistance. How did you look stuff. at him when I saw him doing a job? Did you look at him like this? No, I looked at him like, mm-hmm. yeah, keep doing it. Yeah, that's what we like. I I came back and I was like, yeah, you should keep doing it. Okay, because you know when you're someone's assistant, they have to be your priority. Well, not if you're the world's worst assistant. I don't ever Amazon.com. When I put a link in the description, will I be putting a link to your website or to an Amazon link? You think I have a website? Well, you will after this. How? Someone's going to buy sonamefsosian.com. Yeah, buy mo- that one. Sonamefsosian, <laughs> right? There you go. Buy sonamefsosian, M-O-V-S-E-S-I-A-N. Oh, hey. Hi. That's good that you could spell it right. I could also spell Schwarzenegger, S-C-H-W-A-R-Z-E-N-E-G-G-E-R. I don't even know if that's right, but yeah. That's right. It's N-E-G-G-E-R or A-R? E-R. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was a different time. Somebody makes Sona a website. Buy the domain. It's fine. No, don't buy my domain. Do you own it? No. Buy it before this comes out. Should I really? Yeah. Do you have rickglassman.com? I have rickglassman.com. I have Sona Mofsessian. I have Sona Mofsessian. I have Sona Mofsessian. Because <laughs> I wasn't sure. <laughs> How do you buy a domain? I mean, GoDaddy or any of, you know, one of those. Okay. Yeah. So it'll be like 16 bucks. Shut up. For a year. That's great. Yeah. Someone might already own it. <clears throat> Thinking that I would have needed it? Yeah, somebody owned, owned rickglassman.com. Did you have to pay them for it? Yeah. Was it Rick Glassman? Yeah, it was before everything, so I only had to pay no, 75 was, bucks. Was it Another a guy, guy named, named Rick Glassman, yeah, who wasn't using it. So you bought it from him? Yeah. And what do you have on your podcast? I mean, on your, oh, you have your podcast. Yeah, rickglassman.com. Do you have takeyourshoesoff.com? No, I just Rick Glassman. Okay. People go to Rick Glassman. The main page it goes to is just all my episodes, although I haven't updated it at this point since episode 165 with Zach Braff, so we are like 20 behind. Oh, okay. Yeah, I need to have somebody do that. Does anybody me. care about personal websites anymore? It's not about caring about it as far as like, dude, I fucking love your site, man. It's just a, a convenience of like, where do I see where your shows are? Or how do I see your oh, this or that? Okay. Everything. Where do you get my merch? Or how do you see the podcast? Just, it's, it's, got, it's one a, place. It's a one thing. Yeah. I see. So if you wanted to highlight like some of the stuff you're doing, just go to sonamofsessian.com. Although that would be confusing. I would say Sona would be great, but that's got to be taken. Oh, Sona. I uh, would love to be a single name person. Yeah. You could be, it could be uh, worstassistant.com. You know, like whatever it is. Oh, cool. Yeah. But I have nothing to promote. I'm not doing anything. It's not necessarily about promotion. It's just having a digital space to keep. It's your business card. If yeah, ever I get a time. It. I get it. Oh, it's, you know, I have to run. But but where can I see your, where can I get? Just go to Sona. Just go to worstassistant.com. Worstassistant.com. And then if you ever do have anything to promote, you could put it there. Someone's going to buy it because I'm going to forget after we, after I leave. We'll remind to you. To buy those. We'll remind Domains. You. And yeah. then someone else is going to buy it. Anyway. Can I read an excerpt? Yeah. They're long, kind of. I won't read much. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm not the best at reading. Are you slow? Did you freeze up every time you were in school and then your teacher was like, okay, you should... Oh, hey, Rick, read from page 62. And then uh, you're like, oh, okay. Well, what I would do is when some... Because you switch every paragraph... Uh, when somebody was reading, they would start. I would count how many until it's my paragraph, and then I wouldn't pay attention. And then I would look at my paragraph to see if there's any words I need to take my time to figure out. Is that so? You weren't paying attention when yeah. anybody else was reading. Correct. Okay. That's I went to special schools. No, you didn't. I did absolutely. What special schools? Pep, positive education program. What does that mean for like advanced kids? No, it was for troubled kids. Is it really? Yeah, I had to go to special school. Wait, what did they do? Like extra discipline? There was in each class, there was a teacher, an assistant teacher, and a restrainer. No. Yeah. So for when kids were like running around the hallways or jumping out windows or something, they would literally, you go to the bathroom and there's kids being held, get the fuck off me being held down on the ground. Shut up. Yeah. 
Rick, I didn't know that. Why were you sent there? Because you were a troublemaker. It's I've talked about it on this, and I don't want to get into it now. Okay, I that's mean, just fine. because it's I was misunderstood, oh. Mister. Forwarded by Conan O'Brien. Wait, okay. I'm going to read Conan's forward. So you're, from my book, you're reading the part that I did not write. Yeah. Okay. Because and you know what? It's the best part of the book. Yeah, he's he's been doing it longer. He's. That's one of the many reasons it's better. It has been lo- It has long been accepted that what separates Homo sapiens, already bragging that he knows the word homo, oh, yeah. oh. from the rest of Earth's <laughs> myriad creatures is our unending quest for perfection. Our constant need to improve our condition from cave to hut to pyramid to castle to gilded mains to skyscraper. That's what's mains. Mance. It's- yeah, he's so smart. Yeah. From gilded mans to skyscraper has pulled mankind from the swamps of ignorance and placed us quite literally atop the world. I already know what he's doing. Yeah. The classic toys. But the way he does it yeah, is. Great. The Greeks, in their wisdom, defined excellence with the concept of arite. Arete. Arete. I think. A state I of. Think. A state arete. of. Or arete. I don't know. Not going to work here anymore, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Getting rid of these people here. Uh, first, Mr. Samir Naga. Naga. Not going to work here anymore, anyway. <laughs> and Mr. Mike. Arit, a state of being in which one uses all of their mortal strength, bravery, and wit to achieve greatness. Even there, he knew people wouldn't know what Arit means, so he wrote in the definition. Yeah. In Greek mythology, Arit is a great goddess sheathed in brilliant white who leads us higher always higher in our quest for ultimate perfection in our labors yeah hi i'm conan o'brien yeah no 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 it doesn't say that enter sonom obsession m-o-v-s-e-s-i-a-n sona my assistant of 13 years believes that the purest of the divine greek state of arete is lame and should go eat a dick <laughs> did he ask you when he said that or is he just putting what he would your words in his mouth Oh, he's just putting words in my right, mouth. Right. Yeah, but he, I think that is what right. I would say. In fact, I only know about Orit because when I asked Sona to assist me in researching her forward, she told me to stop being a bitch and find shit on Wikipedia. <laughs> so I did, and now we both know about this Orit lady. <laughs> Great. He's the best. <laughs> he really is. I was going to start this book with so much more research on the history of the work ethic and the Industrial Revolution, but when Sona and I join forces, I usually end up alone on Wikipedia while she uses my credit card to buy a jumbo bag of Doritos, Locos, Tacos, Supreme. Yeah. That, as many youngsters will tell you, is just, quote, how we roll. Yep. He's great. Yeah, he is. Man, he should have just written the whole book. He really should have. I wish <laughs> he did. He could have been my ghostwriter. Um, because he's so pale? Yeah. Do you see how I thought about it? Yeah, I think you were really thinking. Though. I was. Yeah. That's the thing. Really think. Yeah. This is great. We'll read more later, but I want to read a little bit about you. <sighs> Boring. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those pictures in black and white and little. Tack did those. My husband drew all those illustrations. They're real photos. Oh, those photos. Yeah. That's clips from the documentary. Right. Conan O'Brien Can't Stop, where I am just eating the whole time. So, because that's Sona, all I Sona did. Couldn't stop. Yeah, Sona couldn't yeah, stop I think I've eating. Seen this. Conan's twenty. Oh, that's not. A, that's just. Oh yeah, there's this picture. This is really cool. So you read it in preparation for this podcast? No. You researched. Although everything. mobility on the lot might not seem like a big deal for me, for the freedom of comfortability getting around made the lots. I've worked on my personal playgrounds. While some people may respect the set of Alfred Hitchcock masterpieces as hallowed ground. I like to think it was put there for me to enjoy, to frolic around with my friends. Ooh, you're not bad. This is really, the pros are fantastic. Shut the fuck up. I don't know what that means. What are I pros don't know. Mean? I have no idea. I wrote a book and I don't even, people are like, are you going to write a second book? And I'm like, it's so much work. Did you get a lot of help? No, I didn't. I mean, I, I so I had my boys in July and this book was due in October, the deadline. Mm-hmm. And I just wrote, and you know what it was? It was like, I'll fix it in editing. Very much Welcome like I'll fix it in post. Pod. Yeah. I'll fix it when I'm editing it because I just need to get words on a page. Right. Uh, that, that's, 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 ain't that the truth though? It, well, I mean, it really is. You know, I needed something to jump off of and I have never written anything before. Uh, but I am proud of it. And, you know, how's the response? You know, I'm just, I'm a New York Times bestseller. 
That's it, I guess. I mean, is that good for books? Is that good? We'll be right back. I don't really do much that requires bragging. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, but it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun. You know what the best part about it? And I, this is going to sound cheesy. Can I be sincere for a second? What do you guys think? Come on, you can do better. Don't you want to hear her being sincere? Is it okay if I'm sincere Sona, on this? Sona, 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 Sona. Sona. <laughs> I couldn't even mask my voice enough. So not so. No, that's not. No, it's fine. We'll just we'll have layered mine, and you can keep this part. And we layered my voices, and we'll just cut after everyone's (laughs) chanting Sona. We'll have her be doing it after everyone is quiet. I just can't. I I can't ironically chant my name. It makes me feel like then do it sincerely. (sighs) Okay, can I be since? Can I be sincere? Can I do it? Yeah. We'll be right back. No. Can I be sincere? I thought so. It seems like you can. <laughs> I can't. I'm having trouble. What is it about you, Rick, that makes me very goofy? All right, listen. Thank you. I'm being sincere right now. Okay. Here, will this um, help if I do something like this? Oh, God. This is not. Oh, God. Those are so small. <laughs> Why do you have those on hand ready to go? <laughs> Why does your face do that as soon as you. <laughs> go ahead. I'm really going to be sincere right now. Uh, No, come on. Take it off. I need to be sincere. I can't with you. I have those for whenever they're sincere moments. I uh, live a very just... uh, I'm in my little bubble. And I'm on a podcast that is very big with a comedy god, right? Mm -hmm. You know? And... uh, I Thank don't you, think Barrett, by the way. Hey, I don't think the Rick Glassman effect, that's going to be something one day. What makes people goofy? <laughs> <laughs> Turn her into goofy? <laughs> yeah. But I think, because also I don't read anything that people say about me online and I'm just kind Big of like. Big mistake. Is it? No, it's not. It's off. Like I, I, the good stuff is never like enough for me to be like, yeah, fucking killing it. And yeah, then I'm the bad joking, stuff really hurts my feelings. Uh, the, so the, I just stopped doing that. The comments on uh, the episodes that you've been on, uh, I think are literally 100% positive. That's really nice. Thank you. to your. That's nice. Thank you. Uh, but I don't, so I'm in this like bubble. Mm-hmm. And then the book tour is the first time I actually went out there and met people who are fans of the podcast and knew, know me from it. You know, I'm being sincere. Right? I'm sorry. I, that's why I wanted to make sure it was still recording. Oh, okay. I hope it is. Whatever. Um, But what I'm trying to say is I met people and that was the best part of, I think, just even writing the book. Meeting fans. Meeting meeting fans where something that I'm a part of just meant a lot to them and means a lot to them. And that that really was like, it was a little overwhelming. My book signings took hours Mm -hmm. because I talked to every single person in line and it was you have to push them away a little bit but you didn't want to I don't and I I didn't want to and I I didn't I couldn't even if I wanted to I was I I I didn't want to because I know I I knew I was never going to have that opportunity again to meet these people right some brought me gifts some brought me gifts for my boys and it was just really I mean I it was one of the best experiences was just like meeting people and it's like that when we do live podcast recordings Mm -hmm. it's like meeting people and then being like okay oh cool you like this thing that i'm a part of and that's really exciting that's very cool so anyway that's that's like you know the book has been really great for me for so many things but that's probably been my favorite part of it is meeting people has conan talked about it at all or you talked about on your pod yeah cool that's how I ended up on the New York Times bestseller list. Right. Well, that and it being something people heard about and decided they wanted to. No, I think that the podcast helped. Me undies was most. never on the New York Best Times sellers list. And you guys talk about that on your pod. I have me undies. Now you're making fun of Irish people. Irish? <laughs> <laughs> I have me undies. And a lot of money. That's a good accent. Thank you. Irish is one I could do pretty well. That is really good. Yeah, not pretty well. <laughs> is the best the one. Yeah, I'm not, really bad at them. I really tried with mine. That was not good. Let me hear again. Could you do a little bit of an Irish? Could you do? Could, oh, yes. Uh, I'm a, this I'm, is Doubtfire. 
<laughs> I'm Irish. I'm an Irish person and yeah. I like to go into my shamrock house and I, <laughs> I like to drink my whiskey. Drink. That was good. I like to drink my whiskey. I'm an Irish person. Yeah. I'm an Irish person. Could you do a Scottish? Oh, Scottish is really hard. <laughs> yeah, it's so hard <laughs> to do accents. I can't do any accents, I don't think. I used to like pretend I did French accents where I'd be like, oh, oh, so well. <laughs> oh you do a good queen. <laughs> oh, yeah. My queen Elizabeth impression. I've never heard of it before. Uh, I, yeah, you should snap to when I did it then because then she was alive and it wasn't as like, you know, insulting to the dead. Hello, this is Queen Elizabeth. I want to tell you all about one river podcast. It's called Killing the Bride. Please listen to it. I've never been on it, but I heard it's really good. <laughs> when I said keep going, I meant like, let's continue on with oh. the podcast. <laughs> Control F Queen. Yeah. Well, now you're showing a little behind the scenes on how to find the Queen impression. On uh, your website? No, you go on YouTube. You can pull up a transcript. The way we find a lot of stuff sometimes if we're trying to reference something is you go and you open the transcript and you control F to f and you type in the word or phrase. Where's the transcript? Uh, in the bottom right of the thing, the, the way you're clicking some setting things. And Who you does the open transcript? transcript? It's automatic. AI, dude. That's very cool. Yeah. Are you scared of AI? I don't know if scared is the right word, but it might be the right word. But yeah, uh, concerned. Mm. Yeah. I'm How not. good it is right now when it's in its infancy. Like even watching, the, this isn't AI, but it's just talking about like the, the ease of technology. The ease of like home, like home sumer, everyone being able to do these things where you watch videos and you truly don't know if they're fake or not. Yeah. And it's like, that looks so good. It does. That I, that I always am like, how are we going to distinguish the right. real from the fake? Well, you know, already, even without editing, it's difficult with, with, uh, you know, things not needing multiple sources and how much bullshit is out there i i was having a group conversation with john michael and our animator tom the uh there's a clip of uh steph curry making five full court basketball shots in a row that's obviously fake but it looks really good it's fake of I've course seen it's it. fake 100 percent, it's fake but it looks so good and we were talking about it and they were telling me how, what they think they would have done to make it what part is fake him making all five of those but him shooting them is real yeah, they're just not really going in. But what do they do? The ball is like CGI'd out and then a new ball is CGI'd in with yeah, him going in? The ball is going at a certain point. There's an edit where they then uh, mask out the actual ball and put in a different one. Oh. And then, yeah, and it's... Why? I mean, if... Who that, did he do that? Did was he like Steph didn't do it, but also like Steph was like athlete of the year and another thing came out. I remember a, a, a couple years ago... Um, uh, what's the Patriots guy that everyone loves? Tom, Tom Brady. Brady. Um, he did this uh, football thing, and it, everyone thought it was so cool and it looked real. But like, I remember even being like, one of the guy, the one of the guys tagged on the video. You go to his page; he's an editor. Like, it's like, why is there an editor tagged on this thing? Uh, you know? Yeah. Um, but like, I mean, this is going to be cartoony, but. Yeah. Now, that's real, but we could have faked that. <laughs> Second base. Second base? Yeah. All right. What else? What else? I want to, I do, every time you come over, I ask you this because it's, it's a little voyeuristic for me. Mm -hmm. But like, tell me more about Conan. Is that true? You really want to know more about him? Not more about him as much as like you, you being with like, like you get to do stuff with him. I do. I do. Yeah. Like I feel closer to Conan, even though whenever we're around each other, we, we laugh and we make jokes. You guys make jokes, your pals. I will say that our dynamic has shifted a lot and something I'm dealing with that has nothing to do with him is not being in the mix as much. Because hmm. when you're his assistant, you know, everything he's doing you're part of it all. Right. You get to like, you know, have first row seats to like just seeing how many people love him and love being around him and stuff. And as much as I know that, it's just weird not to get to do things with him the way I used to. Does he miss you? Um, I don't. I mean, we still see each other a lot. Get, I miss get him. On the phone. Let's ask. <sighs> I'm not going to call Conan right now. 
Give him a call. I'm not going to do that. He's still my boss. And uh, cut I don't know. I think he'll be excited if I call him and you're on. Yeah. But I also think there's a possibility he'll be like, Rick. Which one's Rick? That's fine. No, I think it'll hurt your feelings. Absolutely not. I'm not going to call him. Text him. See if you can give him a call. No, I'm not going to text him. It's, what the fuck? It's the it's fourth time you're on. I ask you this every time. I'm not. I'm, I'm very protective over him. He might be like with his family. You text him first. What time is it? That's not the right time. 2.45. Oh, okay. Which is 15 minutes after the dentist. Why? What happened at? 2.30. Truth. I'm not even laughing hurty. at that. Um, um, your, <clears throat> your fifth appearance, will you give him a call? How about I ask him before I come here? Great. Then I'll see if he'll be willing. Here's, here, here's my pitch to you. Yeah. Last time I was on Rick's podcast, Take Your Shoes Off. Talk about it on the pod. Oh, okay. Uh, that way I could be a New York Times bestseller. Oh, okay. Say, uh, Did you write a book? No. You have you have to write one to be a New York Times bestseller. I was thinking of writing a book. I already know what it is. What is it? So there's a lot of things that, I, uh, that come intuitive to people that weren't to me um, and aren't to many other people. Uh, unwritten rules, unspoken things you're supposed to do. Could be something as 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 uh as um as global as if you go to somebody's home for dinner, bring a you know a gift, you know, like those things that maybe are more obvious to smaller things, like uh uh when people say, How you doing? Just say good, how are you? Oh. <laughs> and you don't have to, you know, do things. <laughs> um uh when you're when you're going on a date, how to explain yourself uh, how to ask how people like to be communicated with and explaining how you like to be communicating with, uh, the power of being direct. Um, and uh, I wanted to write a book called Unwritten Rules Written. That's a great title. Isn't Why it? don't you write it? I might. I, I have n- notes of, of some of these rules and things that to do. Do you do that in your stand-up? Like, do you do this bit in your stand-up? No, I... I I do talk about things that I've learned over the past five years. Um, I do talk about like when somebody says, how you doing? I, I, I only recently found out you could just say, good, how are you? Oh. Um, I used to like either have to, th- like, what do you want from me? Like I'd have to think of a way of being entertaining and exhausting for both of us. Or I would have to be aggressive and be like, I don't do that. Yeah. And it's just like, what? Just, and you don't even have to be, you could just say anything, any, in any superficial, oh, you guys having a good time? Good things. How are you? It doesn't matter. You just say good things. How are you? But what did you used to say? You used to be honest? I would either be honest, uh, or I would more realistically be doing, doing a bit because it, the, it, it made me really uncomfortable to be so disingenuous. Like, mm-hmm. I don't, and I, I don't care how you are. Uh... I mean, if, unless I do, if I'll tell you how I am if I want to talk about it. And it's like, all right. <laughs> Very Rick. But that's just like a small version. There's a lot of there's a lot of things. Like I, I didn't learn. I, I do do. I talk about. I have a do bit. Do. Uh, you b- do. Edit do. that out, please. Do do. All right. Leave it in. I'm just. I don't know what. I've never played to camera this much. What is that? It's the Rick effect. Like nothing is coming back to me. Yes, it is. Just not in live time. I know. But like what? Okay. Why is that? I keep looking over. I've never paid attention to it before. <clears throat> it's the Rick effect. It's the Rick. It's the Rick effect. Um, I talk about how a few years ago it was when I learned that you could just say, "I'm just joking." I would never say, "I'm just joking." You never say, "Oh, like you." Even if, because you know what, when you do bits, sometimes stop pointing at me. This Bill is, Clinton. Yeah. You got to go, Bill Clinton. I did not have sexual relations before before (laughs) since i was a kid when i'm driving and doing things that i'm not supposed to be doing Mm -hmm. like i like that you went like that that was very effeminate you rolled over you show me your belly i get it and i'm comfortable again i don't know you well enough dude (laughs) you know this is fucking delicious gulp gulp it's very hard to distinguish sometimes if you're being sincere yep I miss it. I miss having it. It's a good prop. Mm-hmm. Well, um, I'm sure you'll win something someday. Did you get a trophy for a New York Times bestseller? No, but they get to put it on the book. 
It, oh, the, when the next print. Yeah, I think so. It's going to be like the, the little thing here. I hope so. You know what? Watch this. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. It covers the title a whole bunch, but <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> but I uh, no, I got a lot of trophies. So I was a speech champion. Oh, that's right. Thanks. Yeah, a lot of trophies, plaques too. Speech. It was debate. No, it was speech. But isn't that debate? Weren't you a debate, debate champion? Debate is a part of like the f they call it forensics. Well, technically, it's forensics. But aren't you debating? No, you're just giving a ten minute, usually memorized speech solo. Wow, you're good. I know. <laughs> That's why I'm a national speech champion. Da, 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 da. You even have the cadence. That's. Yeah, How do you know about speech? Were you speeching? Did you speech it up? You told me. I. Oh, I talk about it with everybody. Yeah, you told That might be the biggest accomplishment in my life. What would you say yours is? What do you think yours is? You're going to say it's corny. You're going to say it's corny. No, I'm not. Um, my relationship with my uh, family. That's your biggest accomplishment? It's the thing I'm most proud of. Well, that's really nice. Now I feel like a dick. It's fine. Not everything's a competition, and when it is, it should be with your former self. For all the I had trouble times winking. you put on me. <laughs> um, so while we're both being self-indulgent, mostly me. Um, me too. I'm, I'm there with you. It makes it easier for me. And I usually don't like to be, but it's the you, Rick know, effect, you, baby. Br you bring up speech, and all of a sudden, I don't know who I am anymore. <laughs> Yeah, you're winking way too I'm much. I'm winking. I'm pointing. Um, uh, you're going to talk to Conan. I'll talk to gonna Conan. And you're going to say, here, here's the pitch. You're going to say, last time I was on, uh, uh, say we, not Rick. Say we. Yeah. We wanted to call you. Um, but obviously, I'm not going to call you and put you on the spot or whatever your version of that is. Yeah. But I want to like tell you now, like next time I go on, because Rick wants to have you on his podcast, and I know you're not going to do it. And then he'll be like, no, I'll do it. Uh, but be like, well, at least we could have you call in because, you know, here is your, I was going to say, uh, I like a uh, role model, but not no role model, like influence. Who I, is? He is? I was wondering if he's the, but he's not the, he's, he's a, uh, because there's also Will Smith and the Simpsons, but he is well, also the Simpsons. Well, when you talk to him, he's the influence. Well, I'm being honest with you. He's, he's, I mean, one of them. Sure. One of the few. Wait, and the Simpsons and yeah. Will Smith. The Simpsons first. Which Will Smith era? Fresh, Fresh Prince. Prince. Yeah. How do you feel about him now? Is that a heavy question? He Why? Slapped. What happened? Oh. Okay, it's okay. What? I'll send you a link. Okay, <laughs> I'm excited. It's probably something hilarious. He's the best. Um, but yeah, Conan's de Conan's definitely one of one of the kings to me. Yeah. Um, you know, but it, there's, I mean, there's there's you know there's different versions of it. I mean, Larry and Jerry. There's like. Uh, Excuse oh. me, Tom and Jerry. Oh. Um, yeah, they uh, must be real big. Hannah Barbera. Um, you would, they're signed. Yeah. Got those at Warner Brothers. And they're a little crooked right now. I have a signed one of these. What are the cells? Yeah. I have a signed cell from the Iron Giant, which is one of my favorite animated movies. Maybe they're movies. And it's signed by Brad Bird. And did you get it signed from him or did you get it? I did it like this. I bought it at Warner Brothers. During when they had that art sale? Yeah. Yeah. I got a whole bunch of stuff from there. You did? Yeah. Those are cool. Uh-huh. And you can only go if you're on the lot. One of the powers of the lot. They also put these ridiculous prices on them and then marked it off and then add, just made it like $199. And I'm like, whoa, what a deal. But like, how is this $200? Did you check how much they're worth? From where? There's no previously solds. Uh... There must be comps. Yeah, I didn't because I didn't buy it. I didn't buy it to sell it. I bought it because I just love the art. Yeah, but I'm curious. Mm. They're probably worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars. More than what you paid for it. Oh, way less. <laughs> 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 we'll be right back. We'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Uh, um, All right. What else? Are you gonna? But you're gonna you're gonna tell him to call and you'll be like, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell him that I'm gonna call him the next time I'm on your podcast. And, and then he'll be like, don't do that. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I, who knows how he's going to... He might be like, yeah, of course, I miss Rick. It also might be... It all, might, so, might also be like, you know, depending on what his energy is when we're there. Also, let him know now because I was young when we met and he thought I was funny. But maybe he thinks, you know, because whenever you're around him, he's always on. So, of course, I'm going to be on. And he, okay. he might think that's what it is. But let him know. I'm a, Like, now that I'm an award-winning dramatic actor. Sure. Maybe he knows... 
he's an award-winning dramatic actor now, so he like he's it'll be great. I think it'll be great. Yeah, let him know. Okay. Don't be like oh, Rick. You know the guy that always wants your Simpsons shit off the wall. Mm, yeah, the stuff that will yeah. eventually go to your son, who also loves the Simpsons. Yeah, Rick wants it. Rick, Rick Glassman. Remember Rick Glassman? He used to come visit all the time. Curly hair. He'll remember. He'll remember. I'm kidding. I'm doing a joke. He'll remember you. How could he forget me? I did that Boy My Arms tired thing a decade ago. He's met you many times. Yeah, he's he's and he I'm I'm joking. He obviously would. And I think your name came up not that long ago. Awesome. And uh he, yeah. I remember when I was on the lot turning because you guys were here and I was turning to go to my stage and he saw me and he goes, "Rick!" yelled to me, "Rick." And I was like, "Oh, well, he were peers." Were they? Oh, you your peers. Well, he said we're peers by saying my name first. Okay. We had fun times on that lot. I loved it. I loved it. I loved coming and being in the green room and seeing whatever guest might be. And sometimes if you don't care about the guest, it doesn't matter. You got the massage chair and the uh, shout out to... Uh, uh, Brookstone. The, the cookies. The uh, delicious. Delicious. Delicious cookies. They actually, um, they're so good that I asked them to sponsor an episode. The first time Sosie Bacon came on, uh, not money, just send me a few cookies so I could eat them on the thing. And they didn't. I felt like... That was like one of the first sponsors I got by myself. That's but cool. They just sent me cookies. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. It, they sponsored you. Oh, they're great. They're so good. It's a, one of the best cookies I've ever had. My cousin Cynthia in New York. No, yeah, I know with Joe Pesci. It's Vinny. My cousin Cynthia. She's real. She's a real person. Okay. Uh, she sent me delicious cookies because she knows even in New York she knows that they're good. Oh, because they're based out of here. I think so. Man, are they good? Mm. I love cookies. They ah. Uh, I love sugar. Mm -hmm. And the last time I went to the doctor, it was a little high. What was high? Sugar, my sugar level. Your blood, sh blood sugar? Yeah. So I have to tone it down a little. But I love sugar. Diabetes runs in my family. My yeah. dad has it. My grandpa had it. You know, having diabetes in the family as an excuse for a doctor to mansplain to a woman to tone it down a little bit. Yeah. I think is one of the greatest tricks that the patriarchy ever, ever told. You know what? Now that you... You mentioned that my doctor was like, you could. You mean mansion that? Yeah, I'm man. Sorry once for you, that since you mansion that, <laughs> you know, my doctor was like, maybe you should wear heels more often. Right. And I was like, and how does that affect? Yeah, I was like, how does that affect my blood sugar level? He's like, why don't you just go to the kitchen? Yeah, tone it down a little bit. Yeah, go to the kitchen. Would it kill you to make your legs a little longer? <laughs> honey, the nurse. Honey, can we take the blood pressure? <laughs> yeah, and then he slaps her on the ass mm -hmm. as she's walking in. Uh, yeah, how, the, were you there? Well, I mean, I, it's a tale as old as time. A song is only rhyme. <laughs> Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. Good. All right. Uh, well, we, we could go on for a long time, but I don't want... What's in your family? Sorry, just real quick. Um, Are there things you have to look out for? Autism. <laughs> My mo mother's father was autistic until he passed away. Is it genetic? Mm -hmm. Is that a dumb question? It is? No such thing as dumb questions. Only dumb people. So, Am I being a dumb person i mean you're a new york times bestseller what do you think how many new york times bestsellers are dumb how many people have you had on the show that were new york times bestsellers are you so excited i'm on do i look different you i don't know, feel different you know what i mean this in the worst way you look the same but also now that i think about it how great that like normally when people win awards it changes them yeah but not us not us <laughs> we stay humble yeah um, my grandmother had diabetes. Not diabetes. Uh, diabetes. Okay. I think a diabetes is type one of the one of the types. Um, and uh, the other family history stuff, I, I choose not to share because it's nobody's business. Okay. But if you're interested, I'll tell you off camera. Um, the men in my family suffer from it. I don't know if I say suffer. I guess are blessed with a very large penis. You're talking into the microphone, and I feel like you wanted to say that. It's soft. No one's gonna be able to hear this. No, they can hear it because it's picking it up. I can hear it from. Well, because you're wearing the headphones. Yeah, but they also will hear what I hear in the headphones. Yeah. And I also feel like you wanted to mention that they, they have know. big penis. Everybody knows. And I feel like you, everybody, then why did you want to say it off camera? Off, off Just mic? because they already, it's not for me. It's so, it's, I don't need to like hammer everybody on the head with my hammerhead. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> I don't mean that as a blanketed statement. A lot of people in my family have a big penis, but I happen to be one of them. <laughs> 
And we're back. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, I have a huge dick. <laughs> you have a, You probably don't have a big dick, right? That's not what. Are you selling something different? I don't know. That's not what I've been told. Oh, you have a big dick? I got a big dick. Jews, dude. We've got meaty hogs. Let's touch them. Let's tie them together. I'm going to show you. <laughs> Whoa! That's Ari Shafir Jew and comment Ari still have a little bit of a smaller dick, but it's not as small as we thought. Uh, oh, you just fixed your boobs. You know, we've seen your boobs on this podcast. You have? I'm so sorry I have stains on this sweater. That's embarrassing. There was, uh, uh, that was when you, one of the balconies where yeah. you took your top off and you had nipple tassels. I my titties. Yeah. Titty tassels. Do you still love doing the podcast or does it sometimes feel like a, 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 a job that you've committed to and sometimes? I love it. 10 out of 10 times. 10 out of 10 times. I really enjoy it. I love it a lot. I'm, I, I don't even, I really enjoy it. Don't you enjoy this? Yeah. So, so uh, I, yes, I enjoy this. I enjoy having somebody over and talking to them. Yes. Uh, there is a lot of other work around it. You know, just being the small ragtag team that Take Your Shoes Off has become, there's a lot more than just having the conversation. Yeah. There's the producing and working on it side of it um, that I do not love. I don't need, that's, I think that's why I enjoy it so much because I don't do that. Yeah, you just show I up with in, some of the funniest people up, in the world. I, I don't need, like, I do the least and I shouldn't mention, oh, I, um, you know, Conan is Conan. So he does all the heavy lifting on the podcast. Oh, also before I wanted to take, because this is what it really is. We had the best time. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Time. Um, he does all the heavy lifting. He does all the interviews. He's Conan O'Brien. Then Matt Gorley, who's the third person on the show. Shout out to Matt Gorley. Yeah. <laughs> he... Ed, he produces it yeah. and edits it. So he has to like come up with the things that we talk about sometimes and then he takes the whole episode and edits it. Yeah. So they come in and they do more after we record. I come in, we record and I leave. Yeah. And awesome. even if when we do a live show, Conan thinks I'm just, you've seen me try to think. So Conan knows that I'm just better when I'm not thinking. So they don't even involve me in the prep for these live shows. I could show up five minutes before the live show, go there, and then come off and then go home. Do you ever sense yourself like you want to ask a question or make a joke or say a thing, but you're like, I'm going to pick my battles? Or do you just truly only chime in when you want to and you're happy not talking when you're not? Or is there a medium ground? I think it's the second one. I don't think, I, I don't think about it too much. There's never a time where you're like, there's not a pause here. No. You'll and just, I, sometimes there should be. So you're saying sometimes you'll just do it even when you maybe feel like when you When I shouldn't. think something, I say it. And then there's that's why, times. That's why you're a bestseller. But there's times when I should probably be like, don't say that. That's not necessary. Is that you being insecure or has that been validated by others? No, it's not been validated. Right. It's just, and I'm not even being insecure. I think it's just because it like, I'll say it and then it just like thud. Welcome to the game, baby. <laughs> but you know why I know I'm not like a comic? Sure. Because I don't need I don't need it to not be a thud. Does that make sense? Like when we're doing a live show, mm -hmm. uh <clears throat> and I'll say something, I feel the same if I get a reaction. That's not true. If I don't get a reaction. I believe that you don't need it, but it's not true. You don't feel the same. You don't need to be a comedian to take on a transfer of energy. I know. I think it's different for comedians because I think it, it it like gives you some sort of strength. It doesn't give me But anything. even laughing gives that to me. I don't need to be the one get, make, making them laugh. If I'm laughing, I get that. It's literal dopamine going in your body. It's it's riding a wave. It's energy. It's not like it's, it's necessarily tied to your self-worth, which I could appreciate. But I do not believe that when you get a laugh and when you're part of a laugh and when you're in the pocket like that, it doesn't affect you in a positive way. It doesn't. I don't believe that. Yeah, I, I, I want to tell you that you're right and that it Thank you. does. We'll be right back. We're back. 
We're going to go again. But it doesn't. We're back. Okay. I, I'm being serious. I don't want to mansplain you. Sure. I, I think you're right where it's like, it's fun to be in an environment where people go, are go, 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 go. laughing. But in me, and I don't know if it's because um, maybe I'm dead inside. No, I'm not. I'm not. But I... <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to prove a point by laughing at something I'm saying now to make me seem like, oh, I like that feeling? Didn't, didn't that feel good? When I went, <laughs> no, that actually felt <laughs> awful. That actually felt Maybe terrible. you're onto something. I, I think that it's hard for you to think that it doesn't affect me. <laughs> it's off putting, though. Whatever you're doing, it's having the opposite effect. Adam Sandler once said that one of the hardest things to do as an actor is to fake laugh. I agree. I could, I could see that. Yeah. Do How clip. do you even do it? I, Wait, uh, he said that to you. Was he on your podcast? No. Sorry. I tried. Bill Burr was. Yeah. I think I just got nervous. Dude, you're like a sitcom character. <laughs> I played basketball with Sandler once, though. We guarded each Is other. Is he good? Mm -hmm. He's always wearing basketball shorts. Mm -hmm. Why do guys like wearing basketball shorts so much? Is it because they can dangle? Well, as somebody who also predominantly wears basketball shorts, I could tell you that they're comfortable. Okay. Pajamas. Pajamas that you're that are... Instead of you, I'm going to bed. I'm a little loser. They're, whoa, <laughs> you play ball. You're a big winner. But do you wear them when you go out of the house? Why'd you mouth? What are you doing? What's happening? We'll be right back. I'm really good at, at being able to do that. What? Mouth while well, somebody else is mouthing. Are you really? No, that was bad. What you just did. No, you can't keep up if someone's speaking quickly. <laughs> no, I was just joking with that. <laughs> I am good at it. Not necessarily with you trying to trick me. If you were like trying to juke me out, uh, uh, fake me out, then I would um, not be great at it. Did you correct yourself after you said juke? Okay. Yeah. Because as a, even though I'm Jewish, you have to be careful. Like I don't want to propagate those type of slurs. Juke? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Clink. Are we done? I should go home. I think so. It's just, you know, I was very tired today before this. I've just been podcasting all week and I just wrapped on my show on Friday and I'm going Which out. Which show? Can you talk about it? It's an ABC show that comes out in February. ABC? Yeah. A network show? Yeah. What show? It's, Is uh, it announced? Yeah, it's called Not Dead Yet. What is it about? So Gina Rodriguez plays uh, a you know a woman who's uh, in her you know late thirties. Who let's face it, sometimes you know when your life's going a certain way, things could change. And her husband left her at the altar. She was a prestigious reporter. She moves back to, uh, to a place where she's from, and and she has to start over. And even though she's so accomplished and she's interviewing all of these people, the only job she could get is working at the local newspaper. Get this in the obituary section. Ugh. Now here's the hook. Even though she's writing about all these people who are dead, who she's never met and knows nothing about, she could see ghosts. Oh. And each week we get to meet a new dead person. Not dead yet. February 8th on ABC. You know, the first episode will be well, episode uh, airing two episodes. At uh, 8.30, we're going to episode one. At 9, it's going to be Abbott Elementary. And then at 9.30, we're going to see episode two. You sandwich Abbott Elementary? That's big. I love Abbott Elementary. Wh do you play a ghost? Uh, no, I play the roommate slash landlord slash love interest. Who, let's face it, I'm kind of a little uptight. Things need to be a certain way. She's just loosey-goosey, doing her thing. It's a classic odd couple situation. So you're a recurring character. Uh, it's one of the leads. Oh. But like, let's be real. I went from the sixth lead, put up a lower third, to the first lead, to the fourth lead. Well, that's cool. To the second lead, to the eighth lead. Oh. So the first lead. Hey. To the second lead. 
Det er da bare bare. Ja, det er der. Ja, det er der. Ja. Ja, det er der. Ja, det er der. Ja, Smurfs having sex. <laughs> That's very cool, Rick. I'm really happy for you. That's at, awesome. At the end of the day, I'm just grateful to tell a story, you know, to get paid uh. to tell a story. I do mean that. No, you don't. I really mean that. No, you're at the end of the day, you're glad you're getting a sweet network paycheck and yeah. that you're on you're working. Yeah, to telling stories. I'm being sincere. I said it in, in a silly way, but like this show is a show that I I'm I feel like, oh, I'm a working actor now. Like this is my third show I was a lead on. And it was the first time I've experienced something where I'm coming in, I'm just like a, I'm a supporting player. I come in on a few days, I do my thing, and I leave, and I just feel like I go to work, I'm doing my job, you know, and I come home, and I'm not thinking, I, I don't, in a good way, it's not like, this needs to be a certain way, and I want it to be this, and I want, and this needs to be, and I, you know, I want to be doing this, it just feels like, no, I'm, it's awesome, I get to be on a show, somebody else's show, I just show up, I do a, fuck a couple of things, and I come home. <laughs> And that gets to still do stand up and my podcast and other stuff. So I, I do mean that. It's like it's so hard to get jobs. I know. And to have a job where I'm just like imagine. doing this, like it's just a, the show that somebody else put all this work into, and I just go in and I just go meh, 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 and then leave. Do you think that your friends who are comics that you came up with? Do you think they're happy for you, or are they like happy for you? Happy for me that I'm on the show. Yeah, that you have work. Like I have to imagine they'd be happy. Do you think there's a competitiveness between comics at all where they're like, look, I'm happy for him, but... I think that the people that I'm not friends with don't even know what I'm doing. Okay. You know, like nobody, you know, it's not like, it's not like I'm, I'm Avatar, you know, I'm just like doing a thing. <laughs> I think the people that are close to me know because we talk about our lives with each other and I think those people are. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I hear that. I hear that's a thing. I don't really know that world maybe they do it behind your back really why because like they were gonna have this job if i didn't get it or because they want it so bad and you get it and like you know there's a sense of resentment maybe i think everybody knows how hard i work and how special i am how, okay you had me at the first part everything everybody knows how hard i work there you go and how special i am you, yeah. listen if anybody wants to get on a tv show honestly all you have to do is try to do it and be it's special because like well, i make jokes about if you just want a new york times bestseller all you have to do is get conan o'brien to write the foreword and then you know add like promote it on his very popular podcast so what just do it just do it <laughs> i know it doesn't even have to be good. <laughs> Just do it. Your publisher goes. Sona, 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 sona. <laughs> it's great. It's great. It's great. Well, um, the forward's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, what else? I guess that's it. I like you know we talked. I also you said you don't want to do like a home hours. I mean we've been doing this now for like two hours, and I could easily talk more. But we'll, I could we'll too. Do. But I do a need. To, I live in Altadena. I own a home there. So I have to like leave before. It's not your ring. Sorry. So I have to leave before traffic gets bad. Yeah, let's let's end it now. And what I would love to say is, uh, we could see each other doing whatever. But what's the point of it if you're not able to get it on as as content? So come over again to do your podcast. We not don't even have to socially. turn the cameras on. Let's just come over. But talk into a microphone. To we each don't other. need the microphone, but. Yeah, it's talking to them. It makes me feel uh, um, uh, that's this is how I know how to talk to people, because in real life you can't go like this. Actually, you know what? Take that out. Do this. Do this. Do this. In real life, it's just what it is. Oh, it's boring. Yeah, there's no music under it. Ugh. Yeah. There's no editing. No one can see it. If no one can see a conversation, did it ever really happen? First base. 
Sona, thank you so much for coming over. I love you. I love you. Have you ever thought about growing out a mustache? <laughs> like, what do you think? I love it. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not even saying this jokingly. Oh. No, like a real mustache. Yeah. It was fake the oh, whole time? Doesn't this look real? This is all edited. It looks so real. I'm not even holding a real mustache. No, it looks really, it looks real. Um, does anybody in your family have a mustache? My dad had one from before I was born until I turned 13. When he met my mother, he had a mustache. My mother had never seen him without a mustache for like 15, 18 years. And one day he shaved it. He came downstairs and we were all like, what the fuck? My dad did that too. My dad's always had a mustache. When did he shave it? Never. Oh, he you, still has you've one. never seen him without a mustache? Uh, no, he shaved it uh, once when we were younger and we were all like, are you our dad? Like it was, it was shocking. Mm. He's a handsome guy. It looked great, but he's a mustache guy. He's yeah. always had a mustache. Yeah. Um, but what I'm saying is I can see you wearing a mustache and I could see it being cool. Well, because you could see that the mustache is a little bit bigger than this. Yes. Yeah. I did that intentionally. I'm like flirting with the idea. I like it. But the mustache on its own without the facial hair, I don't think. No, I don't think. I think it's stash time. Cause that's not a mustache. Put a that's pick. a, that's a beard. Yeah, but there is, you know, what Henry Cavill does. He has... In he can do... Not that you're not handsome, because you're very handsome. But Henry Cavill, yeah. he's one of my, my top three. Yeah, Henry Cavill slash... Henry Cavill slash... Oh, there was... Matt Bomer was up there, is still up Who's there. Who's Matt Bomer? He was in... Was it Blue Collar? White Collar? That show on USA? gorgeous suits dark hair no dark hair blue 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 eyes he's been on a lot of ryan murphy shows he's gay uh that's fine he, that's i didn't fine. say it wasn't fine okay i'm just we'll edit we'll edit this so it looks fine take out yeah uh yeah no, that's I, fine. I just love his face he mm -hmm. was in magic mike both and xxl <sighs> oh I had Joe, Joe Manganiello. Manganiello. I had him on the pod. He's been here? Yeah. I love him. You know, when jo oh, Joe... Oh, I love him. I love the end of the Joe Manganiello episode because I... Uh, Betty was here and she was upstairs and I had a death. She was upstairs while he was down here? I'd be here. I mean, she's, I'm sure they they met, but like I told her to stay the fuck away from him. Oh. And, no, I'm just joking. Threatened. And... Uh, no, I would pot whenever she was here, I'd be podcasting all the time. So, you know, she wasn't always sometimes she podcasted with us. But um I had a desk upstairs and uh I needed to move. And Joe was talking we got into a, a long conversation about chivalry. Mm. And he is very old school. He's like, I mm. make sure that Sophia is on, you know, holding my arm all the way to the car so she doesn't fall and I'm very protective. And I'm like, is she falling all the time? <laughs> You know, it was very like we were having this conversation. We both had our real points of view, but it was fun. It was like, are you not that chivalrous? I am. I have. I don't subscribe to the the way the world already calibrated it. Some of those things, but no, I I don't feel the need to after you. Ah, uh, you know. But yeah, I'm I'm a, I am I am my version of romantic and a gentleman. I'm very loving and caring, but also like you're you could do you're fine. Yeah. I don't need... Oh, you dumb bitch. Yeah. No, no, not that. Oh. I thought I had a sneeze. Oh. So we're doing the chivalry thing, and I said, you know, I have this... And I just met him for the first time at my place, and he has his little dog. <gasps> and I go, you know, I get what you're saying. Um, I have a desk upstairs that I need to move, and I don't want to do it with my girlfriend. Is Could you help? And he doesn't know me, and he goes, oh, okay. <laughs> um, I go, thank you. And then we, would you help bring that desk down so I don't have to make me and my girlfriend do it? Um, sure. Yeah, as long as somebody holds a chihuahua. Oh, my God. Okay, let's go. Okay, Gina, how did it turn? Doing great. Hey, wait. baby, we're going to hit the thing. Wait, 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 put it down. Got it? Yeah. Yep. All right. Ready? And how you doing space-wise? I'm good. You're good? <laughs> Doing great. 
Oh, Bubbles, I'm sorry. Thanks for doing this. I didn't feel comfortable doing it alone with Betty. Huh? Oh. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> with the dog on the thing. I'm like, oh, you're right. Great. I should be a gentleman. I don't want to have to move it with my girlfriend. Will you do it? He goes, sure. And then it's just this big, hot, strong guy moving it's a, a desk. It's a beefcake. Yeah. He is a beefcake. He also is big into magic. Uh, uh, Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and, and Dragons, D &D. and cool stuff like that. Yeah, I know. You know what? I don't remember if I asked you this. I think I did. We got to do it. Um, you know, I do these. Oh yeah, these cars. Oh, we want to make one of you. I'll. That is so exciting for me. Yeah. Where do they? Where can people get them? RickGlassman.com. Is that true? Yeah, and there's a link in the store to get to them, yeah. or you could go sh directly to Tyso Cards. T Y S O Cards. C A R D S dot com. Hey. Um. Yeah, we got some cool cards up there, and we'd love to make you. I want to be made. I wonder who you... Do you have a character that you identify as? I don't remember. I, I was talking to you Scott Hepburn, me, and who's then the artist. I, uh, we couldn't think of... I, think I we couldn't, couldn't think of one. Is there one with... Middle Eastern hair? roots? Oh, yeah, or that. Who are you? Wolverine. I do. Yeah, I'm Wolverine for a few reasons, but uh, I'm Wolverine. Eric Griffin is Mr. Potato Head. Did he choose that? Well, his genetics did. Oh. Uh, Mark Marin is Iron Man. Oh, cool. Uh, Blake Griffin is Colossus. Oh. And then I don't think they'll be out by now, so I might have to bleep these. But we have, yeah, they're not going to be out yet. But okay. I, we have we have eight more coming out. Eight? Yeah. I would be thrilled and honored to be a card. Well, shout out to Scott Hepburn, who put his Instagram handle up. Amazing shout illustrator. Out. And uh, we got to work on you because there's not one woman. Not one, even in the eight that are coming out? Can you say that there's one? There's not. Oh, why do you hate women? I, I don't. I, I don't hate them. I just, um, the eight that are coming out, like there's these sets that I'm doing now where they're the groups of people that are together will bleep these. But for an example, they've all been on. So that's four. Uh, Even though there's really one section, none of them are girls. So like we're doing these pockets and a lot of podcast groups are guys. Um, there's a few girls I have in mind that, that I'm planning on making. Um, I think I'd like you to be the first. I would be honored. I'm not even joking. That's a huge. They're really cool. I've seen them. Mm -hmm. And who does the art? Scott Halpern? Hepburn. Hepburn. Uh, but shout out to Justin Halpern and... Patrick for Abbott Elementary and Quinta. Let's just shout some people out. Did, is that first guy you mentioned, is he related to the artist? He created, uh, he was one of the co-creators of uh, Abbott Elementary. Is he related to the artist? No, because you said Halpern and his the artist is Hepburn. Hepburn. Yeah. Like Catherine? Lauren. Lauren Hepburn. Who's Lauren Hepburn? I don't think you know her. <laughs> 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 yeah. all right we gotta end it gotta it's 320 it. now all right i'm gonna take a polaroid picture of you all right and i'll sign your book yes and the polaroid and if you want to check out all the polaroids of all the guests check out pod.snaps pod.snaps on instagram at this current moment i have none uploaded but i have all these polaroids and i want to do it you should then you don't do social publicly you have one I have an Instagram. Yeah, Sona Mav or something. Sona Mov, S O N A M O V. But I stopped. Right, your mother. Upgrade, updating it. Well, also, there's like I don't have my boys' pictures up on there, but I just I don't do Instagrammable things anymore. Well, when you're a New York Times best-selling artist, you don't need to fuss with that. I mean, it's beneath me. Well, I don't know. Is it? No, New York Times bestseller, people who write books have to promote themselves Some online. Some of them do, but not when you have the kind of platform you have. The Conan O'Brien platform? Yeah, and the take your shoes off push. Yeah. T-A-S-O-P. Thank you for helping me promote this. Oh, you, yeah. when, I, when this book first came out, you were talking to me about me I coming I kept on. asking you to come on, and then when you couldn't, I kept asking you, film a commercial for me. I know, and you're right. And every single day, I was like, I've got to, can I tell you what it was? I looked like garbage yes. the first six, seven months the boys were alive. Right. But the but the book came out a year later after the boys were born. Right. So at that point, I was starting to wash my hair again and right. like put makeup on and stuff right. and like wear normal bras. You could have blurred your face. I 
wouldn't want you to blur my face. That would have made me feel worse. Yeah, well, then here we are. So people are going to go to Amazon and put the link in the description. Yeah, or your local independent bookstore. Now, what about people who don't love reading? Is this on tape? It is. Do you voice it? I do. And Great. it's one of Audible's uh, best audiobooks of 2022. Wow. Last yeah. year. Let's see if we could do it again this year. Yeah. It's January today. Oh, yeah. It's I don't know uh, if it like rolls over. I no. think it's Well, that's why we do it again. I re- I re-record the audiobook? No. N- oh, the best that comes out that year. Yeah. Understood. Like a rookie year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, uh when Bill Burr was on, we're friends. Uh-huh. A- Bill we talked about because Bill doesn't like listening to books on tape. He thinks it's cheating. Oh. And I told him because we were, he was talking about Steve Martin and his autobiography. I said L- He's like, because I, I, he goes, he doesn't have the book anymore. He like lost it or whatever. I said, you got to listen to it on tape. He goes, you don't do that. And I said, let me sell you on why. I said, because it's Steve Martin narrating it. So instead of thinking about, oh, it's cheating, I'm not reading. No, think of it as him telling you his story. And he goes, sold. That's what you do. You do it yourself or you don't do it. I'm not going to read this book. I am going to listen to it. Okay. My Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip impressions are in it. There you go. They're both dead. When I want to listen to it, I just... I, yeah, Audible. Audible it up. Or Libby, the library app. Yeah, listen to this book or read the... If you like to read, read the book. But if you If you aren't a big reader, like I'm not a big reader... Which is not something I should like say, but I'm not. Uh, it's a book you'll read because there's cartoons in there, there's pictures in there, oh, and right. it's a very right. easy read. It's right, not right, a right. tale of two cities. We don't need a dictionary. You know, I'm not Dostoevsky. I'm not bragging you about know. things you know, Tale of Two Cities and Dostoevsky. Yeah. You know, you know, maybe you're right. Maybe listening to this would be the equivalent of listening to the Take Your Shoes Off podcast. It's going to be great, but you're missing a lot of visuals. Yeah. It's not the Trail of Two Cities. It's no, not Dory yeah. Dayofsky's. Yeah. Right. All right, well, head on over to www.sonamofsessian.com. Right. Because you bought it by now, or Worst Assistant. And uh, thanks for coming over. Theme music. Oh, you have to sign it. Blabbity blue. Scoop D. Rick, I love you. Couldn't have written oh, this without yeah. you. Wait, no, I couldn't. Man, if if the inscription is that good, I can't wait to read or listen to this. 